Shoddy, she a freak, 10 10 freak. She don't want to speak, she want me to the beat. I'm the voice of the street, that's a freak in the sheet. She want me for her tea, I got me for your meat. I am mad. Shoddy, she not bad, man. He's a musician though, and I've seen, I've seen. Demi makes the beats. beats. Well, have you I seen? I know that, yeah. Yeah. Who well, have you seen? I've heard on your podcast that you make beats. Okay, okay, first. You've actually done your research. And well. yeah. she can probably rap. Yeah, yeah. she can probably yeah. rap as well. Do you know that kind of way? I need a pen and paper, and then I'll be able to. Yeah. No, the show she can rap and I can rap. Put me in the studio. <laughs> I make a diss track. There's a lot of people I. Um, <laughs> do you think? Diss track straight away. Who's like your we favorite rapper? My favorite rapper. Yeah. Who's your favorite rapper? Reggie Mac. Reggie Mac. Bro. Collaboration. Fredo's well, his favorite rapper. Fredo? Okay. Yeah, I'd say so. How do you feel when you went to jail? Mm-hmm. I don't know. I don't know. He feel? was upset, don't mind him. <laughs> I was a little bit upset when he got that type of way. He, he actually yeah. did. He came back a changed man. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You think enough. it's going to, like... That's actually an interesting in question, right? Mm-hmm. Do you feel like rappers, when they go to jail and they come out, their music is better or worse? It, it oh. gets better. I feel like it's better. Yeah? Because you have time. There's a certain, yeah, there's a certain hype around it. Mm. So are yeah. you gonna let us know when it starts rolling, or are, they, are you gonna <laughs> are you gonna stop the put us? I'm, I'm pretty sure it's rolling. 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 I would have asked that you know question. Reggie, Reggie doesn't it. want us to catch him. No, but she tried it though. Do you remember? Like she asked the question, yeah. Right, let's go. But you kind of know if we're rolling. Like once we introduce you, just know that the cameras are 100 yeah. percent rolling. Alright, let's go. Yeah, you ready? Why are you saying I let's go? Like you run the thing. You are a guest here. Reggie's boss man. Reggie's. Oh yeah, imagine now. Ready to introduce All of a sudden, he's you did bad. Guys, been practicing his stunts. No. Damn. Is that is that is it easy like that? What? Well, never mind. Let's go. He doesn't. He doesn't want me to expose me. I think I called him his governmental name. <laughs> don't worry, we won't repeat it again. Yeah, don't, put on, don't, it. don't put it on camera. <laughs> Oh, guys. Like I'm done. I want to go home. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so happy. Back, they've started. They've started. This guy is so you, know, you know how like married men act when they're like in public with another babes. That's how you act around. Right? Yeah, you have so much you composure. Right yeah. Yeah. Like anytime there's a picture, it's like this. <laughs> married men act. Oh. Come. Yeah, so much composure. <laughs> So much strength. It's so much energy to catch you sleeping before they go and report you. No, I'm not slipping. I'm not slipping. No, we, uh, we know you're not slipping. Never. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Reggie could never sleep. <laughs> <laughs> I like him. Yeah, yeah. So this is your first podcast, Reggie. Are we rolling? Yeah, we're yeah. rolling. <laughs> <laughs> we've been, we've been rolling. Honestly, I'm not even, honestly, I'm not even trying to crack jokes. I actually don't know when we're starting. We're, we're, we're rolling. rolling. And, that's, and that's the camera there. That's your yeah, camera, that's camera. That's your camera. This is yeah. our camera. We've yeah. been rolling. Yeah. If you ever want to address anyone, you look into the camera. Thanks. Yeah. Look them straight into their eye in that yeah. camera there. Yeah. 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 Cool, cool. Are you camera shy? No, I'm not camera shy. No, no you just don't want us to catch you slipping. No. <laughs> Not even. Reggie's so funny. I haven't seen him like this in a minute. <laughs> What's Mark trying to say? Like that? What's this guy trying to say? Nah, he's good. He's good. You Ernie's, think you're on the hot seat? Ernie's going LTP. Put that down. No. 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 When's LTP? Oh, okay. This weekend? Um. Yeah. So you're going. Isn't it? We're going. Yeah. yeah we're gonna you're gonna see. The, you're gonna see the room. The room. The room there. <laughs> oh, yeah. I went uni with Mark. Yeah. I've known Mac. Ross, He's a cool his, boy. Let's talk about that. Let's talk about it. Yeah, go on. What do you want to talk about? Yeah. No, I'm saying you like, you like to talk about how, <laughs> how we were in uni uh, together. Yeah. Memories. Me and Ross go way back. Yeah. Way, way back. Guys, I fell in love with him on day one. He was just such As a calm like romance. kid. When I was a good boy. No, not romance. Oh. Not romance. <laughs> yeah, what back when you were a good you boy. She said romance. Uh-uh, there's a massive age gap. Well, I think you know? I was in like my final year and you were like in first mm. year, wasn't it? What did you study in um, I uni? I studied mechanical engineering. Wow. Wow. Yeah. That's yeah. a big man degree. That is so. a big, it's a big play. Man big man degree. So then, you're going to math? No, I was horrible at math. <laughs> so I was so work? bad at math. Do you know what it is? I was always bad at math in school. Mm-hmm. But when I went to college, I got better at maths because mm. the way they, t- they taught you taught, yeah taught mm. they, they just make sense in college right yeah in school, i feel like really. it's too it's too much information and they don't teach you a right method right method to, to, learn, yeah. to actually learn maths mm-hmm. they're like five plus six is eleven mm-hmm. but find out what four is yeah do you know what's like, you know what? going on the maddest thing i heard this week right you know terrace howard went on to some um podcast and he's yeah. a massive rat joe rogan joe rogan's yeah. sorry i should really have respect but um, basically, he was saying that two multiplied by one should be, I think he was saying should be, was it one he was saying? I think he was talking about how, like, 
you, you might get an answer for something and then you, if you do it a different way, it gives you the same mm-hmm. answer. So he was mm-hmm. talking about it's not a balanced equation. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's, remember, that's what happened with us yeah. on the 90s, baby. Yeah. When we did that math equation. Was mad. We did it in our heads, but when you do it through a calculator, it's different. Yeah. And we all got mad numbers. No, we got it right. One thing I deeped about like secondary school and uni is that, let's say, for example, in secondary school, they'll give you, let's say there's, a, there's an equation and there's this like formula to help you do it. Mind you, there's like three pages of this formula, but they give you page one in year one. Mm. Or year five, you could have done the same equation, but with more information. So yeah. they, with, like, but in uni, they give you everything you need to answer this one equation. Yeah. So they're selfish in secondary <laughs> school. I don't even know why they had us learning the questions. Like, guys, why did we um, learn minus B formula? Have any of us ever used this since we left school? I don't no. even know what that is. But I love X the minus, minus B plus or minus square root B squared minus four AC divided by two. Ross, did you that. do you <laughs> learn <laughs> where you use that in every day? Because what? I forgot that. I like Pythagoras. I remember the yeah. strangest that shit things. That's crazy. Pythagoras. Pythagoras. Uh, we don't have to do it, but yeah, it was lit. Do you remember? No. <laughs> It was what was, lit, the, what it was, was the triangles? Were you good at maths? I was so Yeah, I was good at maths. Cute. Actually, no, I wasn't. I wasn't. No, remember like, <laughs> I was okay. the actual like you okay maths? I was okay two of maths. them equal the same side. Yeah. Like there's an equal equilateral. Equilateral. Squalene or something. Mm-mm. Anyways, let's I move on. Like, anyways, like yeah. anyways, Roz, <laughs> intro, intro. Say, <laughs> <laughs> yes, before we dive into your career, so <laughs> welcome back to GTG, baby. You know the vibes. Your weekly subscription to the gist. Thanks, sir. <laughs> you rate it, yeah? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> so, you know, I know we're talking about like school days, but I was like, Mac, why'd you become a rapper? Because I just them. remember, oh yeah, how can I just be joining? This is how you know I'm too comfortable. You're so comfortable. Okay, so to my left, we got my OG, Mac. Woo. How do we pronounce your stage? Is it Maxio? It's Macchio. 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 I'm, that sounds like a designer. Don't pronounce it Macchio or something. Hmm? Macchio. 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 It actually sounds expensive. I ain't gonna lie. Macchio. Yeah. And to okay. my right, we got our guy on top. Yeah. Reggie B. Yeah. Yeah. On top. Uh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let's go. <laughs> Guys, before the pod, <laughs> before the pod, I got was sucking. It was chatting. I want that guy. Can you what are you trying to say? Like, I'm quiet now? Yeah. Yeah. That's Reggie B, man. You already know what it is. Let's hey. go. Yeah. That's it. That's Mac it. started rapping before me though. He started rapping time ago. I Mac is the old, Mac is OG. What? Mm. He really yeah. is. I just remember turning on Instagram one day and it's I just got back from winning. <laughs> they can never say I lost. Serious. And I was like, Serious. I was like, <laughs> I made that. I made that in Carlo in college. I even watched the video again today and I was like looking and I was like, was the video in college? Yeah. yeah. Serious. Yeah. Do, you remember, do you remember AJ? The yeah, barber. the barber. I remember seeing the shop. video too. Yeah. No. Crazy. I was in that video. I saw you too. That was my first time at Carlo, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah really? Yeah. Yeah. Not many people like to come to Carlo. But everybody seems to have been there. The yeah. greatest are from Carlo. Like, Only what's there going once. on? I've never been to Carlo. Carlo I've makes celebs. Carlo makes past important Kilken- people. It's before Kilkenny, isn't it? It's kind of like beside it. Yeah, that's the only It's way. before like Waterford. Kildare, Waterford, yeah. It's beside yeah. Waterford. It's before Waterford, like when yeah. You, if you keep going past Carroll, you, you'll hit Waterford. you hit Waterford. But before, like when you go back from Waterford, you Carroll and back, it's like Kildare and then Dublin. Yeah, okay. for the drivers who don't drive a Google Maps like me. Okay. <laughs> I thought called? Waterford was in Cork, though. Huh? Mm-hmm. Like Yo. it was close to Cork. <laughs> Baby, like, you're even the most Irish one here out of us. But, um, is Waterford not near the war? <laughs> I, asked, no. I, I asked the same question. It is. Right? It, it is. is. Water, yeah. should, that makes sense. Yeah. Imagine it was mid in the midland. Do you know what? Sense. The only time I went to Waterford, right, mm-hmm. was for a party, and I arrived there like in the like in the night, so I didn't see anything. Got to this house, so we woke up in the morning. Mm-hmm. We were literally like on a cliff, and we were like right beside the beach. Had our own private beach and everything. Yeah, it's fine. It was the first and last time I'm in Waterford, but it was banging. Man. Waterford is lit. They've got like amusement parks and like all that everything. kind of stuff there. Is yeah. it? And is it like, little? <laughs> is it lit though? If you're having your own party, it was lit as a kid. Oh yeah. I went to I can't remember. There's one fun fair there by the beach, yeah? but that's. It was there's lit. so many. There's so many places in Ireland I haven't been. You know, like I haven't been Sligo, like Kenny, all these, all these places. But what's there? That's what I'm saying. But you like, can probably name like so many counties you've been to. I, I mm. actually haven't okay, been let's, to none. Let's, you know what? Let's do it now. What counties have you? I've been never been to Sligo. Already? No, let's talk about the ones you've been to. Where have you oh, been to? I've been, I've been Cork. Mm-hmm. Um. 
at Lone, at Lone. At Lone. Galway. That's a good spot. Is Galway. Galway. Is Alone is, yeah, Alone. Is, is it West Mead? Mead? West Mead. West Mead. Very West Mead? strange area. Very it's strange crazy. area. Yeah. I've only ever driven past it. That's long. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. What else? Where mm. else? Where is it? What's that pub in Atlanta? There's a lot of places I haven't been. That's like a nightclub. Um, and they, like, back in the day, they didn't ask you for ID. Can't remember. Ozone or something. Ozone. Is it? Oh, I think it is I Ozone. Know. But there's another yeah. one. There's, there's, there was two. There was two back in the day, yeah. So you've been to Cork, Westmead? Yeah. Have you ever been to Dundalk before? No. Yeah, yeah. I have. You've yeah. never been? You have? No. I've been, been to Dundalk. I've been to Dundalk. What do you think of it? It's like. What do you think of it? I don't remember. A lot of black people where, went to Dundalk. Where were you there? I had a friend that My lived there. My ex lived there. But anyways, oh. that's a different but story. But what's there to do in Dundalk? <laughs> Do you know what it is? It's probably the same thing you do everywhere else. Yeah, Dundalk is really country. small. Mm. But no, it's not. No, it's not. It's no, it's not. not. How's what? housing there? Like, it's, it's, a, it's the biggest town in Ireland. Um, Dundalk? Yeah. yeah. It's, it's cheaper than Dublin. Okay. Fair but enough. It's not as cheap as it used to be. Mm. What's called? Reg, when you went to go get the chewing gum, I was like, these are the gunner jeans. The gunner jeans? Yeah. Really? Yeah. She's I love them. She loves gunner. I love gunner. Thanks. Thanks. I love you, Gunnar. Do you know what I say? I don't really on, listen on. to Gunnar like that. I need to start listening to Gunnar, you know. Yeah, I don't He's really lit. listen to Gunnar. He's absolutely like lit. That. Let's get into just of the week. Go on, go right. for it. So the first just of the week is um, this babe, she was in a festival or whatever where they were spraying paint. Mm-hmm. And she took a video and then she started dancing on a guy behind her. Yeah. But her man was literally just like was beside her I watching. Saw that. So I was like, what would you guys do in that situation? Like, uh, it's not her fault. She thought it was her man. Are we going to be honest? Go on, go, go on. on. I'm, I'm, I'm rocking out. <laughs> You're walking out. I'm rocking out. I'm rocking out. What do you mean rocking out? What swinging. Is that? He's swinging. swinging. Yeah, yeah. I, I cool. love that analogy. <laughs> rocking out. <laughs> it's great. I yeah. love it. Anyway, sorry. Well, well, like, sound as violent. <laughs> are we, are we gonna be, we're gonna be honest in this podcast. Let's be yeah, honest. Yeah, yeah. We're, we're not gonna like sugarcoat. No, no, no. We're not sugarcoat. Who, who are you rocking? Oh, the. Oh, I'm not rocking a rock the girl. I'm gonna rock the guy. Yeah, but the guy didn't know though. Right. Still rocking him. <laughs> That's what I'm just, just still rocking him. I know but we can deal with it later on with, with the girl, but. See, yeah, because yeah, I feel like it wasn't her fault. So you can't really be she too really bad. She thought it was very quickly. She, Why were you far she away? She ran away very oh, you quickly. Saw the video, Mac? Yeah, I saw the video, yeah. Uh, so she, she's you? innocent, isn't it? Yeah, she's innocent. But you'd still have but a fight. It's weird feelings. Like, you feel weird about Oh, like, you'd be, be angry, though. Oh, really? Yeah, we're rocking out, but like, nope. at the same time. You're rocking too. Yeah. <laughs> But you'll be able to go after like, see, I haven't seen you the can't videos, like, so I if you see the videos, it's... So are you just having innocent. a little fight like with your yeah, babes? You you'd would, be having yeah. a little fight yeah, being would. like, I why don't you, you look around? Let me see if I can find the video. You wouldn't be like, oh, that's, yeah, that's cool. That's yeah. All right. So like... It's tough because there's, there's Wait, paint in her face. Wait, explain time. So she's got paint in her face. She can't see. Yeah, like, no, you can't see. Like, she she has the phone like this. She's vibing. There's paint in her face. There's paint on everybody's face. She's now backing it up thinking it's her man. And she she's like, this feels different. Saying, don't feel like my man. What way did she react when she realized no, it she was ran. her man? Like, she ran. ran. She was like, oh, my God. She very quick. Also, rocking out doesn't really make sense because th- it was an accident then, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. I don't think it rocking so out. So you're just mad at your babes then? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Probably. I think, like I think she didn't posted it. She shouldn't have posted. She should have sensed that you were far away. I'm not really an argumentative type. I don't really get angry like that. Mm. But see, I feel like a guy like you, when you give out, you have to actually respond like yes, sir. Like no joke. Why? Why? I don't know because you're not argumentative. You know, you don't play. No, but Mm. the thing is, I'm not argumentative because when I am, I end up being the one that that does the most. You get it? Oh. Okay. okay. So, so I rather not argue. Yeah, I don't know. So, what would you say (laughs) to your babes if that was your babes doing that? Um, I don't know, like, what's the story with that? And then she'll be like, oh, accident. And I'll be like, all right, cool, come. Move I'm on. trying to think, girls. Like, let's say, for example. I don't, I, I, I don't believe that. <laughs> <laughs> He's about to call you on your bullshit. Now, you would do the same thing, though. Mac, what are you doing? What am I doing to my girl? Yeah. Um, it's always the quiet ones, guys. I don't guys. know. Like, I, I'll, be, I'll be angry. I'll what? be angry. Like What's always the quiet ones? The quiet ones. That what? They have a lot to say behind no, the doors. No, that doesn't doors. mean I have a lot to say though, but like I would be angry. I yeah. would be like, oh, that's all right. Mm, yeah. It's like a bit of accountability. Do you know what I mean? Because like if you're, I feel like if you're about to throw back, I feel like you should. You think should, twice. You should, yeah, you check should your blind spot. Check, your blind spot. check like, your blind spot. Think about check that. Your check your blind spot. If I was about to whine on my, my girl, like mm-hmm. you check first. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm mm-hmm. not going to just go to her. I guess it's different because the girl is throwing it back. Let me tell you what it is, what? right? Because I used to be a professional um, whiner mm-hmm. wine, okay. back, back in the olden days. Mm-hmm. I've retired. Okay. My, my hips don't lie like that. Actually, my <laughs> hips do be lying now. <laughs> so when you're throwing it back, right, you don't want to miss the beat. Yeah, yeah. So obviously, like, as soon as the beat hits, 
you know what I mean? You have yeah. to, there's a way. So obviously she wasn't thinking. She was just trying to, you know what I mean? You don't thing. like, you don't, if you deep the girls in the club, like they don't look, they don't, they only look back mid wine to check if you're laying. Type, and if yeah. you, have you ever yeah. been in that kind of test? Have you been tested like that? Yeah, have no, a girl's I, ever I like, like, I feel like everyone's been tested, bro. Like that back then, you know, you know when you were younger. Like what, what, was that, what was that song they used to always play? Uh, Red Nose. Oh, Red Nose. Red Nose. Oh, Red Nose. Oh, my and you, God. Like back in the day, it was like a thing. All the guys would try to get a wine. Yeah. You, you know what was so funny? They were running. Yeah. 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 She got a shit like it. I can't relate. Like a Red Nose. Did you see him tonight? What did he say? He said he can't relate. I don't know why he can't relate. I don't really go parties. I didn't go parties back in the day. But to be honest, like. Cap it. <laughs> to be honest, boy is too funny. <laughs> why do you think I'm capping though? That's why do you think I'm capping? I can tell. Because your boy is looking at you. You like, are up to trouble. Like, so he's telling the truth, and I'm not. Yeah, I feel I like I can tell you're troublesome. Look at the way he's been licking his lips. Like, you <laughs> both would lose it. Lies. I think my, any man would lose it. Like my babes would lose it. Yeah, if you were going another man, yeah. Like yeah, I know, yeah. but the yeah, thing is, really, if, yeah. I'm, now. if I'm dancing, yeah, mm-hmm. like if I'm out with my babes. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm going to know where he is. Well, she's going to lose, lose it with you or lose it with the guy. True. Yeah. True. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's true. I'm with Rhi, actually, because, like, you can't just grind on another man without really knowing. Because, Especially if you're yeah. with your babes. If yeah. you're in a relationship, mm-hmm. you're going to know where he is. And if mm-hmm. you don't know where he is, then that's sort of scary as yeah. well. Literally. Because like, how would you lose your babes? And there's this wine you do when yeah, you're exactly. I feel like that I'm one of those babes, though. If I go out, like, I'm not going to be hung on to my man. So it's very possible for me to lose But if him. you're whining to a song, mm. it doesn't matter yeah, if you're like, across the room, you're connecting again. I'd probably be whining with my girl, like, if, if I wasn't beside my man. Like, no, you find each other. You find each other. Yeah, you so find each other. You could be you on the other hall. side. It could be in the bathroom. Where just for red. But it's what? Yeah. By the time yeah. I get to you, the song is over. I don't think it I won't ever happen. Be in that situation. <laughs> it won't happen. If it's love, it won't happen. <laughs> I'm screaming. Well, it's called I'm Next Gist of the Week. There's this basketballer. His name is Lamar Odom. He went to a barbershop. Mind you, he's bald. But the barbershop, like, is the oh one where, God, like, the yeah. girls are shaking ass. One Y'all second. see the video? I saw that as well. I think I'm on social media too much. Did you see that video, Reggie? No, I didn't. Don't worry. I'll play it for you, Reggie. <laughs> Why is she keep laughing? That? Would you guys go to that kind of... Ba- um, Wait, it was... I think I've seen that barbershop before, though. No. no? That no? is mad. How long Why ago was that? Why was that? Yeah, she's laughing. I would Why is it? That tell me, how long ago was that video put up? Babe, you're not going to find oh, it. Like, Pass on my phone around. The fact that he's okay. bald is kind of crazy. Yeah. No, yeah. the fact that he's not... Yeah. So let's be real. Let's be real. Guys, we'll try and get Ross to put the video there. He's there for the ass. No, but he's not looking at it. He's, he's looking at it. I think he's trying no, to get a No, I tell you what his problem is? He mm-hmm. feels guilty for relapsing because the, no, not relapsing. He feels guilty for looking at it because the last time he was in this predicament mm-hmm. was when he relapsed. They said he didn't have drugs, but it had to have been that time that he was really, really sick and he had like an overdose or something. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this, this was the predicament. He was with strippers. Mm-hmm. Wait, so. So now there's someone who's recording him with a bunch of strippers shaking ass again, popping it on the She's, internet. He's like, hey. Girls, are you letting your babes go to that? No. To that barbershop? To that barbershop? What if it's no, like a no, no. barbershop? No. I don't care. I can't it's shake your hand no. but you'll never It's a hard no. It's not happening. No. Oh. The only I way care. I can no. imagine my man there is let's say, for out. example, he has friends and he's like, oh, yo, yeah. meet me at the barbershop. No. He just didn't know the barbershop. No. If you're even following that page, it's over. <laughs> really, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> so what's your take on following? What's your take on followers in a, in a relationship? I don't think people should deeper that much. Like they shouldn't follow like pages and like it depends what pages like if you're if you're following like all like half naked girls Mm -hmm. that you would you're not ready for a relationship yeah do you get me like would you let your man follow like ruby rose and ari and all them type of girls i don't really care to be honest like they're never gonna see those girls in real life the hell also it's only the ones they're gonna see in real life that they can't i just don't want to know yeah that's within us grabbing distance like, no. I'd be tempted to grab that. Crazy. But to be honest, like, I don't mind follow if you want. Do you know what I mean? Because we've had Instagram for so long. But if you're liking every single post, that's oh, when right. we're going to have a problem. Because Crazy. it's like, what are you doing? Yeah. She's, she's, rock, she's do rocking out. And why are you watching <laughs> she's it? Rock. She's rocking out. She's rocking out. <laughs> I, am, I am rocking out. I'm rocking, rocking out. Would you guys, because I asked someone this ages ago, would you guys, um, let's say you get a babe, right? Yeah. <laughs> Would you like unfollow all the girls you've like yeah. slept with? And yeah. then actually yeah, I have true. a follow on question to that. 
<laughs> would you? Would you? What's your follow? No, no. Ask it first. <laughs> ask it first. Ask it first. He's trying to. Okay. What was the question? <clears throat> would I want to follow all the all girls the girls? I've dealt with before? Yeah, you dealt with before. Um. You complete the question. fifth. Like yeah, just, you complete the fifth. I was gonna say I wouldn't. Oh, like you flopped that one, so. You would. No, you, you took too long. You, you took too long. Surely no, no, I <laughs> wouldn't. If roles were reversed, I wouldn't because. You wouldn't. They gonna see me with you. Mm. They gonna see me be yeah. happy with you. Mm. They gonna have like a walk. Like, okay. They're not, oh, really? they're not talking to them. Not they can That's toxic, though. That's crazy. That's did crazy. You, did, did I'm never gonna said? talk to them again. Did you hear what she said? <laughs> yeah, I did. That's but crazy. I have a follow up question for you, Reggie. And yeah. then. All right, go. Cool. So you said you don't follow all those girls <clears throat> yeah. if you were yeah, with someone, yeah? Yeah, straight, straight. But are you adding them back when you break up? Damn. <clears throat> nah, probably not. Like, that's, oh, my, my that's, Instagram that's glitched. I'll be honest, though. No, no, I'll, be honest, I'll be honest, though. 50 people. I'll be honest, though. If we're broken off for, like, a year then or two years, then it's like, okay, cool. Like, so those, it's long enough. But, like, if you're broke, if you're going to get back together, like... So those girls... So the reason why you unfollow those girls is because they're a threat to your relationship. Are you talking about... Are you talking about... So if, if you're unfollowing them... If you're going to follow them back, that means you're not getting back with, 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 with your that person. person. Do you get it? Yeah. Mm. Yeah, so... Well, it's a hard, you are, it's a hard question to answer though. It's a technical. Because I feel like if you're, if you're not, if you're done dealing with that person, mm -hmm. and you don't, unfo you, you don't unfollow each other, and then three months down the line, six months down the line, you you're, you end up in a relationship. Mm -hmm. Do you just remember? Oh, I have to unfollow up this girl. Oh, yeah, because then it. Like so if you if you ended if you ended a situation with a girl you were dealing with mm -hmm. peacefully, mm. why would you spin back just to like? Yeah, yeah, because then it looks That's like you actually I'm, care about it. Do you know what I mean? think. With my partner, I think he can unfollow them if they become a problem. Yeah. yeah. If they don't respect the boundaries, then they can yeah. go. But yeah. if like if they're not doing anything, they're kind of living their life or whatever, then there's yeah. Yeah, because who's whose problem is it? Is it your babes or is it yours? If you want them to follow all these people, see, so I'm not toxic. Yeah, well, see, me personally, mm. the reason that's toxic toxic is because me, in the situation, if it was my girl doing that, I'm rocking out. Do you get me? So. <laughs> What I'm trying to say you, is, you don't. rock out a lot. No, you don't even look like a fire. No, like. no, I don't. I don't. I don't look like a fire. No. Yeah, no, good. no, 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 no. That's a good thing. Like, you look good. mad peaceful. Like, you look yeah, like, good. let's talk it out. No, I can see it behind the eyes. No, no, no. I can see it. <laughs> Wait, can you do, do this? No, I'm not going to do this. Let me try to see something. What I'm trying to say is, though, um, Let's be serious. Let's be serious. Okay. okay. Serious. Sorry. Okay. No, when Reggie's I told you this. Reggie's part today. Wait, listen, listen. If it was me and she's been with this person, like you have to unfollow them because if you do, like it's awkward. Like when you see that person, like. Why is it awkward? I've moved on and I'm happy. Yeah. That's toxic, man. That's toxic. Really? <laughs> what are you following her for? Like it's like <laughs> it's like you like you want to like what is it rekindle? Like what is it? There's no, no rekindling. It's but just, you don't it's care. Not that deep. I don't care. Like it's not like, that deep. It should not phase me. Yeah. So can your can your babes follow any any yeah, males about your like babes? male friends? No. Male friends, yeah. Okay. Uh, do you believe in like <laughs> male and female yes. best friends? No, I don't believe in it. No. Do you know what it is? Yeah. No. no. Do you know what it is? I do believe in it. I didn't believe in it before, but I do believe in you it. Believe now. it now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. well, it has to, to be extent, like. To yeah, yeah, to an extent. Yeah. Okay. You know I mean? Why? Elaborate. Because I know you've seen you you have seen that thing um, that like when people when. There's a girl. Like, when a, a guy is best friends with a girl, he's he's just waiting for the opportunity mm. to to hit. Like. Yeah, Shit. I do believe in that because I'm a man. I, I, I understand. I, I understand know. what boys and men are like. Mm. Have you understand? had female best friends? No, no, not in that sense. Really? I've had female like very good, for, like good friends. Okay. Family friends. Okay. I have zero female friends. What? She looked. I have zero. Yeah, I look, zero I said, they said he has zero. Just not best friends. Like, but you've been friendly with females. Best friends is like, what? Well, you spend the majority of the week with each other. Like, you you go and do activities with each other and stuff mm -hmm. like that. I don't, I don't. But female, do you have female friends? Yeah. No. Mm. <laughs> None. Yeah. None. This guy, like, this guy acts media trained. Like, like, you know is, no, you know I is, hate uh, media trained. I'm not media, media trained. What I'm trying to say is, like, female best friend to me is like, okay, that's my boy's girl, yeah? So we can be friends. Okay. You know what I mean? Mm. But it's like, oh, yo, she's from college and my friends like that's not it's a bit like mm. Mm. it's always gonna be there what After, like what if you have a few drinks and stuff like that it's like uh, <laughs> you know that kind of okay. way but it's like but when it's like if it's like oh that's my boy's, Let me tell that's, you my, that. that's my boy's girl like some guy friends that i know from uni that never in a thousand years anything they, will ever yeah, happen they ever. would never mm. never what do you think mm. about that mike 
I feel like them guys <laughs> would if they were given the opportunity. Damn! No, like they my probably, guy friend did say would, that to like, be honest. But I think that's your like, guy friend said that. Yeah, he told me like so that's, that's your guy friend said that. Sorry, did you hear he that? He said it to me. Yeah, he said it she, to me. She really just case ruined closed. my points. Damn. No, then I was like, in the right really? circumstances, the right point. If you deep all your, that's how I know if a guy is my actual genuine guy friend. That in a moment of like weakness or in a situation where maybe there's alcohol or something like that, he won't try. Really? Like, would he try it in your heart of hearts? Would you know? No. If you would do it. No, but so if I know you wouldn't do it, then I know he's my point. true friend. Like, if you're my friend and you're a guy friend, we're not even getting to that point. No, but like, you have like, to test them out. No, I'm not but testing is it just, because is it just no, 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 not that you have like to like that. actually be like, oh, you know, stroke, start stroking no. their head. Is, have, it, is it just the ugly guy friends, or is it what, like what happens with the good looking guy friends? Even the good looking. If you're guys, my friend, I'm never gonna see you in that way. Mm. And some guys like, I know from uni have been with my friends. What is a guy friend? What makes what makes that person a guy friend? Just a guy. They're like a brother. Yeah, yeah, like a brother, like a genuine brother. Yeah, and like you can know that, like in any, like even if you try any shit, yeah, you know what I mean. Mm. Those kind of friends. Yeah. However, if you know, There's like girls, no and these times, you know, as a girl, you know, if this friend is really trying to hit, you know. No, and you won't even get to that part with me. Guide, you won't even get being, that part. I, like, like, I think you're being naive. I'm Russ, like, Russ. I think she's being a little bit naive, thinking no. that like, oh, you know, you wouldn't, we wouldn't even get that. I get that you won't say that. However, you. No, like a guy would try it or you'd know if he t- would try to you try it. You may not get there, but he may get he's, there. He's okay, I'll give you, but I'll tell you, like, I had a, I had a guy friend and mm-hmm. he said, like, he liked me. Mm. I haven't talked to him since. That's fair. Because I was like, because mm-hmm. you crossed that line mm-hmm. with me. We were friends. Yeah, you're if you're cool. going to cross that let line, me, then Let me ask you, were there, was there, like, signs before that's that? That's how it should no. be. No. There was no signs at no, all. No, that's why I was so taken back. Do you know what I mean? I was literally like, I was like, it's, <laughs> it's done. It's yeah. done. Like, because because you feel bamboozled, you, you feel lied to, you feel tricked. I right? saw you as a friend, and right. then now you're saying that you have these feelings. Mm. It was never like that. Right. So now you have to cut it off. Yeah. Because I'm. Yeah. True. Do you guys like swallow chewing gum? No. Oh my god. <laughs> That's calm. Let's move on. You swallow you're chewing gum. Only one here that oh chewing. my Sometimes. god. <laughs> Are you gonna put that on air? Yes. Mm-hmm. Damn. What you, what's wrong with you? What happens when you swallow? <laughs> what, 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 what happens when you swallow chewing gum though? It doesn't digest. Nothing. I think nothing. it doesn't digest. Yeah. Yeah. I heard so it that's digest. what I've heard. That's, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's supposed to be like so it's super hard okay. to digest. I used to swallow I'm, when I was young. I'm good. But yeah. probably not supposed to be digested if it doesn't digest. You know what I mean? I'm gonna, like, I'm gonna leave it like in your mouth. It doesn't melt. Have you? Eventually, if you suck on meat even long enough, like it will. You suck on what? No homo. Pause. No diddy. Pause. Suck on what? Actually, no. Actually, no. That's straight. What? No titties for like. <laughs> what? <laughs> what, is, what, is, what, is, what, what did you say? <laughs> what? No, no, we, can always you can we can always. say no diddy. We can always. Yeah, no titties for like the gay stuff, innit? Mm. Is it for guys? Yeah, anyways, for guys. Like, yeah, when yeah, you yeah. say oh, something okay. crazy, but if you're on me, like that's straight. So. It's- Although okay. chewing gum is designed to be chewed and not swallowed, it, it generally isn't harmful if swallowed. So. It's not normal. You keep swallowing it, babe. Okay, cool. That's dead ass. Okay. We've, we've, we've cleared that up. <laughs> yeah. We've got that. What do you guys think is the anti-age, anti and uncle age? Oh, please. And is it dependent on, like, oh. what they've yeah. experienced, what they have, or just age? I think, like, when someone is an auntie, it's like when they have, every, they've, you know, achieved some things, but they've also reached an, an age. So I think anti-age to me is, like, I think 40. Forty. Yeah, forty. I was gonna mm. say like thirty-seven. Thirty-seven. Yeah. Mm. But I feel like with the way the world is going now, you would see some thirty-seven-year, you're okay. An thirty-seven-year-old people mm. with the way they dress and behave, you wouldn't expect. It's not anti. They don't deserve that yeah. title. Mm-mm. But do you not feel like we are creeping toward an anti-era? Because I'm not no, because I do be seeing the kids mm-hmm. outside and I'm like, put some clothes on. Right, but it's it's winter. It's very cold. No, for me, like, why like, is the skirt so short? I reached the point where I've started like calling things wrong mm. to like my siblings. So I remember like we were sat down in Nando's one time and I was like, man's not cold. Mm. It wasn't not man's not hot. Yeah, like I get it wrong now. <gasps> like my my brother sent me I've a been photo on that. like She's he wanted Jordans for his birthday. I've She's done that. that. Why did I send a photo of Dunks? She's done I have Jordans. As you can see, my, co- know what my co-hosts are. are grannies. I'm still the like, young one. I low-key feel like I've tapped into the anti-era a little bit. No, I've Let me even bring this up, right? Guys, 
stay me, yeah? Basically, I told him a story about, like, this woman, she had, like, this girl, she had depression or whatever, mm -hmm. and, like, her guy friend was like, you just have to lock in. And they were like, what's that? Who said that? These two. We said, That's we crazy. said, what's that? What's locking in? I'm not on your yeah. Twitter. <laughs> they don't, they don't get it. You guys, you guys got the story, I'm not on right? Either. Yeah, yeah. But you see, know what I, I mean? feel like you're around urban people. Like, no, not really. really? Well, no, no, not really. Actually, kind of, but not you really. You would. Like, I feel like you're you people. You guys make music. But how do you, so how do you stay, like, how do you stay Hard. away from, like, the anti <laughs> thing? Like, oh, how do I stay away from it? You can't stay yeah, like, No, what? like, I dabble in and out of it. Like, I'm still cool. I'm yeah, still no, yeah, cool. yeah, yeah. But, like, if, like, how do people, like, how do you feel like people stay young? No. Say I, I think you just have to be, like, really involved in the culture. So, like, mm. that whole yeah. lock-in thing, I would have never heard it. Mm. Whereas if I was hearing it, quite frequently i would have understood what you meant yeah. mm, fair enough yeah. Yeah. i feel like i've been on my zoom <laughs> we know what zoom is yes yeah. <laughs> you're so proud of that <laughs> i feel like when your friends start having kids as well mm -hmm. yeah i think you automatically become an auntie yeah, so yeah a lot of my friends have kids yeah, I was yeah, say, don't, don't say once that, you, once you have <laughs> a lot of my friends have like, yeah a lot kids. of my you're friends an have kids you're, you're an, an active participant in the kid's life you're an auntie and uncle but what age are the kids now are they like still one young? One of my kids has a six year old. Oh, one of my friends when has a six year old. When they reach four or five, four, that's when you start. Yeah. Mm. Start no, once, uncle age. once you have a kid, it's like you're an auntie uncle because age. that What's kid's friends are going to call you auntie anyways. Yeah. So it's like you're... Yeah, but I even find it so weird. When they're like auntie, auntie Rose, auntie Rose, I'm like, shh. Don't call me that. <laughs> no, I don't, don't mind being called auntie Ree. I don't mind it. Are you sure? Yeah, I do. Like, because I'm the cool auntie. I don't mind it. Really. I'm, I'm embracing old. my auntie era, guys. I don't care, to be honest. I'm even older than you, and I'm like, still, no, don't call me that. Nah, man. No. I still get asked for ID. Okay, I actually have so a question okay. for the rappers, right? What age is too old for people to start their rap career? To start mm. it. Yeah. To start it. I think. That's a good question. 30. 30. That's okay. To start your rap career. To start it. To start it. Okay, I hear 30, though. So we're, not saying, we're not saying that your like career takes off at 30 because you could have been in the game before it and mm. it takes off at 30 but to start like start afresh 30 because you know what like singers people can just decide okay i want to take this professionally now mm -hmm. they could have always known they've had the talent for it yeah but just not start you think rapping, I, think, rapping I think singing is different though. i feel rapping is harder than singing why is that because i feel like with singing it's either you have the pitch and the tone or you don't so it doesn't matter what age you are yeah, like look at X Factor. Look at like all the people Susan who came in. Boyle. Susan Boyle who came in in yeah. her forties and fifties. Yeah, you know. But I feel like we're rapping. But where's Susan Boyle now? Oh, she's probably still like singing somewhere, selling out. She had a good somewhere. run. Somewhere she had. She yeah, still probably right. has a real good run. We just she's not our demographic, so we wouldn't know. Her. I think rapping like so most successful rappers, they have built their fan base. Do you mm -hmm. get me? So obviously, if you're starting at thirty with no fan base, I think. I think it'd be hard to like yeah. build. Mm. Yeah, you know what I mean? Like, sure. let's say for example, like Jay Z, right? We, you, we've kind of grown up with him, and mm. his style of rapping has matured as as his as as mm. as his fans have. So mm. like, it kind of been, like kind of like so now his like rap is like mature. You know, like wine. You know yeah. how it matures. Mm, yeah, like yeah. it's you know what I mean. Yeah. So I think. Yeah. But does Jay Z even still rap? I haven't heard that man play any single in a hot. No, nah, he's making nah. too much money. <laughs> <laughs> When she start, when she start making like a certain type of money, there's no point in rapping. Mm. Does he? Rock oh, Nation. Rock Nation, yeah, 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 but it does. Do you not think like when you're younger, you listen to more music? What do you think of Irish rap? Yo, let her learn. <laughs> Question. Oh yeah, and yeah, then sorry. We're gonna that. come back to yours. Okay. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Put, don't forget it. What's I remember. It, I remember. <laughs> <laughs> what did I say? <laughs> I'm sorry. I, see apologies, you. Apologies. I, see you. <laughs> I told you guys. All right, we'll come back. To what did I say? I said, do you not think you listen to music more when you're younger? No. Yeah. No, so that's why you connect with fans. Time. So if yeah. you're young, like when you were younger, you used to listen to songs all the time. Yeah. yeah. We have yeah. the time no, to. Yeah, to add to that point, I feel like you still listen to music, but you discover less new artists. Exactly. Mm. When you're older. Because when you're older, you listen to like the musicians that you grew up with. Mm. Mm. But you're not really trying to discover like any like. Mm. Yeah, like when I was younger, new. it was like BET 106 and Park. That was like really putting me on. Yeah. Now, yeah. that kind of stuff doesn't even exist anymore. Yeah, like, what am I yeah. supposed to find new music except yeah. through Spotify TikTok. Shuffle? Do you get TikTok? Yeah. Exactly. And the music on TikTok is not always good. Yeah. No. Yeah. At all. But Irish rap. Yeah, do you like listen to Irish rap? Yeah, yeah I actually do. Really? Yeah. Sometimes. Yeah. yeah. What do you think? Where do you think it's at right now? It's a bit. 
I think it's growing. It's getting. I good. think it's underrated. Everyone should, really, be, yeah. should apply. I actually pressure. think it's really underrated. I think I think we're at a point where drill was so big. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? And mm-hmm. there was so much drill artists that were like just popping off or whatever. But then drill sort of isn't the genre anymore. Mm-hmm. So I feel like a lot of artists are still trying to find their voice yeah. and adapt from being drill artists. Yeah. So I think rap is still, I think we have a lot of talented people. Mm-hmm. They just need to drop more music. Yeah. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Guys, I was actually in the music video. I was Officer. in the Smackdown with, with Officer. Good song. Yeah. I was there arguing with him and flipping the finger and stuff. I, that's Ooh, that's crazy. that girl. Mm-hmm. Yeah, big purr. Just had to say so that. So what do you think the sound is now if it's not drill? Like, if it's not drill, see, I don't really listen to drill music, mm-hmm. but it's like, I just listen to music as good because I'm one for lyrics. Yeah. You know, like, with you, I remember from Confam, because he calls me out every single time that I don't say his name correctly. Ch- you know the Chalito. song, Chai? Yeah. You, this line you Ch- said, Ch- around here we don't take no L's unique unless we're with trap. See, yeah. I love stuff like okay, that because yeah, yeah. like wordplay and stuff. That's a really good see, song. I like that song. You see how card the lyric in my head? You know, yeah, yeah, cool, this, yeah, cool. yeah, this girl thought I fell off, but I still bang like Jell off. <laughs> See? <laughs> like, just, I love music like that because, like, I'll pick little things and I'll hear the word and be like, oh my like God, I was mad. Easy. That was oh, cool. Yeah. And then the song, it sticks in, in my head forever. Yeah, we need more music dropping all that. Yeah. yeah. What, yeah. Do, sure. what do you guys think of Irish rap, Irish music? I'll let Max start. Um, <laughs> I feel, I feel like I feel like a lot of people I feel like a lot more people need to drop like I feel like it was more competitive back when it was like drill everyone was dropping yeah mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and stuff like but I f- the scene right now is like if everyone dropped it would be very healthy but yeah I, I, I do think there's a lot of potential yeah everyone scene. should apply do you think, everyone apply pressure do you think there needs to be more collabs yeah Definitely. for sure 100 percent there should be yeah 100 percent I think it was only popping because it was beefs everyone was beefing mm-hmm. so that's why it was popping but, but yeah, then now, true, now, yeah. that, now that no one's beefing, you, like you're really seeing who kind of has like substance. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. And a lot of people, a lot of people, a lot of people don't. don't have So like substance. you're saying their talent was kind of hidden by the beef. So no, now it wasn't, the real talent has to show, now there's no beef. No, yeah, the, the beef, brought up all, the, the, all the brought beefs the drama. Okay. Brought, the, brought the, the attention, but now when there's no beef going on, mm. like, what are people rapping about? What are you, like, what are you really rapping well, about? Did ever. you really hold that? Did you? Like nobody knows. Nothing, nothing ever uh, replaced it. Do you get me? That's yeah. why I asked mm-hmm. you if uh, you think more artists need to collaborate because back in those days, everybody was beefing, so there was something to like look at. Mm-hmm. Whereas the beef stopped, people stopped dropping, started dropping less, but no, no Irish artists are like collabing on as more. Uh, what's that word? They're not collabing on like tracks more. Do you get mm-hmm. me? We're not uplifting each other, why so there's no beef, but there's still no uplift. Mm-hmm. There's no healthy competition. She, she ate there with the uplift because I feel like it could that be possibly a reason why people aren't dropping because the reaction's not coming. And it's not mm. as if the music ain't good. Like, I feel like that Confirm song is sick. Good, yeah, but I feel song. like it didn't get the shout out that no, it yeah, deserved. For sure, for like, sure. I expected, because I remember I was in the studio the day Travanels were doing theirs. I don't think you were there. I was there. Were you there? Yeah. Oh, damn. I really didn't know anyone back there. You probably left. Po- okay, possibly. But then it was a thing where it was like, when I was in the studio that day, I was like, man, this is going to ban. This is going to be everywhere. People mm. are going to go crazy. And then the song dropped and I just was not seeing it anywhere. Who, mm. who are they rapping for? Are they rapping for like the black community in Ireland or for everyone? Because mind you, the black community in Ireland, let's be Hairs. so dead ass. Hairs. They only, some of them only support things when there's a certain type of height or hype or clout behind it or mm-hmm. something do you get me whereas if there's nothing behind that and it's just good music you like you're not gonna Takes they're not longer. gonna support it's not gonna stick yeah. whereas in the uk okay. like they're backing like if your song is from a certain area you know your, your area is gonna push it out personally i feel like really ireland, ireland doesn't make good music okay whoa do you know what that's I, the title yeah, <laughs> big part. <laughs> Irish musicians make good music, but they don't. They don't make hits. A lot of them are like. Mm. You can you can say like, oh, that's a good song, but globally, like, mm. can you, like, could you play it to an old woman? Could you play it to a young kid? Mm. Could you play it to like? Do you know that kind of way? That's the genre. That's the genre, though. Because I'm gonna back um, Travis and L's here. Mm. Nigel Blood. 
I play that to so many different demographics of like Nigerian people yeah, who would actually sure. understand yeah, there it. Is, there is a select few that do that. They love mm. it. Every single person loves that song. Mm. Yeah. But do you not think like that's because of drill? Like it's so violent, so angry. Do you know what I mean? People are talking about real life situations, but if you're talking to somebody who's never experienced that life they're and they're right. listening to that music, they're not going to be able to relate to it. Yeah. Whereas it's that's why the artists here, like all the techno artists, are like proper like sw like they're swarming because mm. they're just listening to music that people like yeah, whereas yeah, the right. music that we're creating is from like our hearts mm. do you get me it's from your soul i also i would say that to a certain extent but it's like going back to your song even winning winning's drill isn't it is it drill mm. is it know. and mind you what like you drill know? is a type beat it's, it's not like drill, a it? style of I'm rap kind of yeah it's di like drill is a type it's beat. a type of beat so because exactly. like let's say for example if you stop the beat you can actually put that song on like an r&b thing if you slow it down you can put it on afro beat if you're really feeling funky <laughs> like drill is like a type of beat and obviously sometimes the drill type beat is associated with violence that's yeah. however sometimes exactly. nowadays what i love that's why i love unknown t because he's putting like a drill type like rap flow on like classical music mm. which is like a skill do you get i me? feel like it's just the assumption that it's mm -hmm. automatically associated to violence yeah. because yeah. it's like even the confirm song i know i keep coming back to these yeah. because it's just what you guys i know you guys have been on but it's like if you listen to the lyrics of that there isn't really violence in it yeah it's a good song mm. yeah. it's not a hit though really? which is fair it's good yeah. to, let's be real let's Damn. be dead ass because i rate the song I'm, heavy i will i'm very picky when it comes to music like if i don't like it i don't like it and i won't listen to it but that's why like when it comes to anything i just i just stick to what i like i stick to what i know and there's a lot of people out me like this so you can't hate on people for not like trying to push the music as much but do you, do you think do you think it's do you think it's not a hit or it's just not being pushed hard enough mm -hmm. mm, do you know what do you know what that's a good question yeah. because there are some songs that that's a good question man. there are some songs that with a bit of push mm. could be a hit but i feel like a hit is naturally gonna go do you get me like mm. it, you, it, it mm. naturally just goes what about like, the no. songs that like were back in the day and are only banging now yeah. Do you know That's a lot a of point. those? Part and what may be a hit to you may not be a hit to me, and what may be a hit to me may mm. not be a hit to you. But a hit is like global. Like ev mm. everyone knows a hit when they hear a hit. Like, do you get me? It, for well, example, even if it's not your type of music, you will like Central C. That. Do you get it? Yeah. But do you, do you like? Do you remember the branding that man put in yeah. to his first project? Crazy, well, I don't yeah. know if his first project, but like, it was like like he had orange everywhere it's orange crazy. cabs like mm -hmm. everywhere like he turned like the uk orange yeah. do you get me and it's like he had the money i don't i think what was it uh toxic what's the what name what's oh, i'm so sorry i don't know you know the song well you know the song that everybody knows him for like the first one uh molly. Day, in the, day in the life no the molly life. no before that toxic that was the first one day in the life molly commitment issues Commitment issues, that's it, yeah. Commitment issues. That's it, that's it. See, I told you I'm an auntie. Um, <laughs> but anyways, like, like that song, that's where I remember him from. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah. the song is good, yeah? Mm -hmm. But if you took out all the branding, mm -hmm. everything that he did to push that to push that EP, do you really think that song would be any different to any song that was in Ireland? Yeah. That's true. Like, I think behind, behind making a hit, like, a lot goes into it. Obviously, support is important. Marketing but, like, is marketing is very important very, very as well. And I think that's something that we tend to lack on this side, and it's because yeah. we don't have the resources. We don't have yeah, the resources for that. So program. it's very hard for the Irish guy. Yeah, yeah for yeah. sure. Yeah. Big problem. And, like, everybody's just in pirate studios. <laughs> Do you get me? Like, before, like, just <laughs> <laughs> mixed by Simba. Pirate oh, studios no, are... No, but everybody studio. be in pirate studios recording music. Do you mm -hmm. get me? Like, everybody had their little sound engineer and stuff. Mm -hmm. And, like... Like sometimes people will come in and they collaborate together, but like there used to be so many artists in one spot, mm. and like sometimes people just keep the door closed. Yeah, for sure. Do you know yeah. what I mean? Like obviously, like back in the day, like their fact days, you would have like a lot of artists in the one area, just mm -hmm. make from different areas in the one studio, just making a lot of music. Mm. And obviously, some people fucked that up, but we're not gonna get into that. But and then, so what I want to say is, yeah. There's producers and there's cameramen out there, yeah, these mm -hmm. pricks, yeah, the pricks, mm -hmm. yeah, do you get me? Pricks. They, they, they overcharge young up and coming artists. Mm. There's a lot of talent out there. I know a lot of talented artists, but not everyone can afford 700 for a video, do you get it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. The people that are dropping music right now are the people that can afford it, do you get me? Yeah. Sure. So it's there's these pricks in the industry that fucked up, that fucked up the. But do you not think, like, thing. I think quality 
quality over quantity. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like you could spend like seven hundred euro on one quality mm-hmm. music video, or you could spend two hundred euro on two or three. Right. Do you get me? Mm-hmm. It's like, and it's like if you're looking. Do you get what I'm trying to say, Mac? Though, I sorry, get, sorry no, for cutting you off. No, no. Do you get what I'm trying to say? I get exactly what he's trying to say. Like a lot of people, kind of a lot of people in the scene, kind of hinder people's progression. In my opinion, for sure. Mm-hmm. I feel, I feel like I'm actually happy you're saying that because I feel like these are the little bits and pieces that a lot of people wouldn't know. Mm. You know, like I, I would have never known that making music videos was a problem for up and coming artists. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, no, has been. Yeah, yeah, like so, like obviously back in the day, you could hit up a cameraman and he would charge you three hundred euro. Mm. So like two of your boys could chip in a hundred each, mm-hmm. and you're releasing a song every week. Mm. So obviously these songs start doing well now. So these people in the industry these producers, these cameramen, they start getting gassed and they're like, oh, you lot are getting views, you lot are getting views. They start upping their price, 600 euros, 700 euros. Mm. So it's like... It's isn't there a way to like, you know how like there's There's less music stuff. coming up. Can you like include the videographer in royalties? But to be honest, the videographer should chill because if they make a really good video, they're also investing because they're like, they're at That's the start work. of the video, no? Mm-hmm. And obviously people will know their who to go to in regards to yeah. like those videos. I think I only know like maybe... Three it's good video editors. There's, there's three, there's, but they yeah. charge. But the way they charge, I feel like it's worth it because they're actually good. They there's take like, the piss. There's most a of sequence, them. Yeah. There's um, OVA and there's yeah, no, they're good. I think, I don't know if Extra Shot does music videos. Ovi's I think cold. Ovi's cold. Ovi's Ovi's cold. Ovi's cold. He was the one that directed SmackDown. The one that was in. Like, yeah, yeah. Ovi's cold. Obviously, mm-hmm. there's some people that's worth the money. Mm. Then there's some people that just shoot average videos. Mm. Why are you charging? Mm. I yeah. actually hear it. Stupid numbers. You know, here's an idea, right? There's yeah. a lot of content creators out there who can create stuff up to like video quality. Now, mm. I'm not saying they be OV, mm. you know, but they do really good. There's this sick video. I'm gonna give a shout out to Mike Aka who mm-hmm. dropped this little clip yesterday and it's one of the best edits I've seen. Mm. He edits from his room and I'm sure he doesn't even have the camera quality. Where's my phone? Like I'll Crazy. even bring it out to show you. Mm-hmm. Like it was absolutely sick. So maybe instead of looking at videographers, mm-hmm. you'd be shocked at what you can do with an iPhone. Mm. Usher's last song, Ruin, that was shot from an iPhone 15. Mm. I heard that, yeah. So if just an, an idea out there for like up and coming artists who can't afford things, you'd be shocked. Maybe like tap in and hit up a content creator. So this, this is my... Aka's video that I think mm. he just dropped. Let's I think while see. you're looking for that, I think... Let me find it. Some things we should like... While you're looking for that, Ross. Yeah, I think on. Some things we should... I think collaboration is key. 100%. Collaboration yeah. is key. And obviously, like... Because once you collab, it's like, if it does well, everybody's eating. Yeah. 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 Do you get me? And I feel like Ireland is not really, like, good for collaborating. Only some people, like, there's some people in the industry who are really great for collaborating. I but other people want to just... Clicks. I think that people kind of... Click clicks, yeah. 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 So, like, one of the things that, like, I feel like people are, like, suffering with Mm -hmm. is, like, people want you to do well, Mm -hmm. but not better than them. Yeah. He's cold. Like, he's a content creator. Ross, say what you said again. People want want you you to to do do well, well, but they don't want you to do better better than than them. them. Yeah, so, you're so right. Do you want to know why you're so right? Mm. Do you know what happens in the music industry that people act like it doesn't go on, yeah, but it happens, yeah? So, all the musicians will come together, yeah? And everyone's friends. Do you get me? Then when everyone goes home to their studios, they're recording songs and they're saying, I'm the best rapper in Ireland, the rest of them are shit. But you were literally just with... Yeah. So who are you talking about? Did you get it? <laughs> you know, who are you talking about? <laughs> everyone does it. You'd be shocked how much everyone we can relate it. to that, you yeah. know? <laughs> everyone does it. They're like, oh, we're best in Ireland, we're the best in Ireland. All the rest of them are shit. That's what they say in the bars. Am I lying? Mm. Mm. Yeah. Like, so it's like, who are you talking about? Right. Yeah. So it's like... I'm going to dive in even a little bit on that because I think it's... it's That's why people don't collapse. Not sorry. conducive. I love that word. It's not, it's not conducive, conducive. Yeah. for the scene because it's like, do you think in the other countries, like the likes of Central C mm. and they were all sat there together rating each other, being like, I'm better than you, obviously, you're better than me. This is a top one to five. So this is a top four. It, was it's, it happens too much in Ireland. It's like... Yeah. Yeah. And Ireland is tiny. There's not even Ireland that many Irish like, can do it. You shouldn't be doing that. Everyone's claiming number one, like number one, number one. But how do how we make it stop? Just stop saying that. That's that's like we can sit here, we can get mm. like we can get frustrated, but like how can we make a change? I think mm. the way to make a change is to actually like as you said, just stop that mentality because yeah. I think once people realize if one person's at the top, it means all of us can get up there too. Mm. Travis and Els hitting that number one mm-hmm. has made it very very like possible for people to now know that yeah. we can hit number one. You can all hit number yeah, one. Too. We like, yeah, yeah. Big up the Gladys. They're, they they hit number one Shout now. Out to Gladys. Doesn't yeah. mean yeah. like other people can't get up there and mm-hmm. hit number one too. Let's all try and get up. 
to that's number one. That's what I try one. and get there to number one. Like, yeah. Damn, stop being so damn selfish. But yeah, they, no, but obviously they do it differently. They actually collab with people. Do you get me? They yeah, they're not paid about what we're talking they're about. They're actually, they're yeah, actually real. And they'll say it all straight, like, yeah. Like, they'll tell yeah. you you're cold, like, you know that kind of way? Yeah. Like, that is the, the real people. The real, and I feel like this guys. is what they're doing. They're reaping what they're sowing. They're mm-hmm. putting seeds out there and it's growing. Like, people need to just match that energy. And yeah. it's not just within the music scene. I think it's within every scene. Every scene. Content creating scene, the podcasting Podcast scene. scene. I think we can all elevate and mm-hmm. help each other rather than talking shit on each talking other all shit. the time. Talking yeah. shit on the yeah. 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 Yes, yeah, Cello, like, Shah Cello as well, because... You know, Cello's he, that he, theme song. Yeah, he was, um, he was collabing with, like, Irish artists as well. Yeah. Sure and enough. stuff like that, you know, that kind of way. So... Yeah. Literally. I but think, obviously, people, make, people run up a lot of numbers, yeah, mm-hmm. and then... That's when the whole like mentality comes in, like, oh, I'm better than you, I'm better than you. But really and truly, the scene's not really making money like that. Do you know that kind of way? Yeah, no, not it's, yet. It's, it's not actually yet. going to the UK. Mm. <laughs> yeah, no, that's actually. Because the UK comes and signs us and then they take the money. And then Straight I actually down. don't blame them either mm-hmm. because it's like, if the UK comes and take me, why am I going to go and be calling Irish people who didn't have my back? Right. Disrupt them, but it's disrupting you our liking, ecosystem. You weren't sharing, mm-hmm. you weren't doing. You're not going to go back and think of uplifting the people back there because they didn't they didn't support you when you needed it that us yeah and i don't know like people the people who said they're the best where are they who are they call i them never up. heard of them call them up they're not on my <laughs> we're, we're asking not. you reggie <laughs> when, <Call them> up. <laughs> when, when spotify does the thing at the end of the year that you're not there mm-hmm. so maybe just work on that a bit tough be yeah. humble you know because pride comes before the fall for and sure, that things for there. sure so quick question how would you tell your friend that he's not good at music Mm. Mm. I'll be sure I do it all the time. I was gonna say I feel like he's, actually, he's, just, actually, he's actually straight up. He's, yeah, he's I feel like what would you say? I should be like, bro, like, I'll, do you know what is it? First of all, like, first of all, I'll say, yo, try like this or do this. Yeah, first. if it's not working, I'll just be like, I'm like, like, it's not, mm. it's not, it's not, it's not a hit. It's a good song, but it's not a hit. That's what I'll say. Mm. I remember what Sello said that really cracked me up. He goes like, is, is he my boy? Okay, yeah. He goes. Bro, like, are you trying to do this music thing seriously? <laughs> <laughs> are, you to, are you trying to like have fun? Because if you're trying to do have, if you're trying to have fun, continue what you're doing. Continue. But if you're trying to take it seriously, it's whack. <laughs> <laughs> oh my Mike, gosh! How are you telling man. your friend? That's so funny. I think I'll be straight up eventually, but I won't be straight up immediately. You try. Con- I like, let them keep trying. Mm, yeah. Are you sharing them? Are you sharing the music? If you know your friend's music is bad, are you sharing it? Yeah, yeah after my pe- after my my boy and my family, yeah, I'm sharing it. But I'm, ta- I'm, I'm talking to them. I'm Are you not sharing yeah. that? Behind closed doors. Girls do that shit all what? the time. Oh, I've actually some girls. No, sorry. Do you know how many times people are texting? Can you share this on a page? Not even a hi, hello. Mm. Just share it. Yeah. No. Do you guys feel like your friends should be like, should um, be obliged to share your things? No. Not necessarily. Never. But I just not feel like it's never. really sad if you see your friend doing their thing, trying to mm-hmm. like, you know, get somewhere and you're seeing it and you're scrolling past or you're not trying to like, I feel like all my friends that do something, like I've shared it, I've supported it in a certain way. Do you get me? Even if it's not my Can thing. Can I ask babe, do you believe in what they're doing though? Like in, I believe in them. What's in the craft? In the craft, if their craft is good, like obviously, but I'll give them constructive criticism. However, yeah. if they grow, I'm up. If they're up, I'm up. Yeah, for sure. Do you get me? That's, yeah. what I'm, that's what I'm telling all my friends to like, you know, do this, do that, do that. Because when you're up, I'm up. Mm. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's important shit, to like, share your friend stuff if they're doing well. But if, mm-hmm. if they're not, I'm going to slide back. To be honest. I'll be honest. Yeah. If what they're, sh- they're doing doesn't make sense, I'm not sharing it. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like, some if, people have, are you going to let it. them know? Because some people, like, I'll be real, yeah, I've got mm-hmm. a friend, yeah. And sometimes you'll post something mm-hmm. that's very anti, like, do you get me? Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean when I say anti? Like, you post something that's like, your well, people aren't going to like you saying that, do you get me? Mm-hmm. So, stuff like that. I don't you know, might like, share it, you got me? We're talking about yeah. crafts. Let's say hair businesses, music. We're talking about like clothing and stuff like that. Yeah, but even at that, like you have to be good at what you're doing. Mm-hmm. Like you see the way I am with my own stuff mm-hmm. and how nitpicky and critical I am. Yeah. If I'm not even going to post my own stuff, why mm-hmm. should I post yours that I don't believe in? Mm. Yeah, to be honest, like free me, like I don't take social media that seriously. Like, do you know what I mean? <laughs> like, you know, yeah. Some days I'll be going on Demi and Rose, I'll be liking three weeks of content, yes. you get me? But it's like, if I'm in a room, like, it, like I'm not saying I don't see everyone's stuff because that would be a lie, do you get me? I do when I try support here and there. Mm-hmm. But if I'm in a room and I think that 
like I can open a door for you, I'm gonna open it. Yeah, and that, that part. and you might not see it because I'm not resharing your stuff on the TL. Do you get yeah. me? Or you, I'm not liking every post, but I'm mm -hmm. seeing it and I do believe in you. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's to everyone. And I'm people like, will support in like different right. ways. Like mm -hmm. some people may not be social media, but like mm -hmm. you might have like a show. Mm -hmm. They'll buy tickets and they'll be sat there in the crowd. Sure down. Yeah. You know? What you get? So it just it's different. Social media as well, it depends on the algorithm. You may not yeah, make it. Guys, we're all old. Do you get me? Um <laughs> no, we are. <laughs> I'm a young, young. I'm old. still a fresh still fruit. I'm still an exotic babe. Like, uh -huh. so what, what's old? Like what, what age is old? I think old is a mindset. It is a mindset. Yeah. Because you see them men with 50, and they have like a bank account. gray hair. Huh? What do you say? It's a mindset on a bank account. <laughs> a mindset on a bank account. True. You see but people old with people like got money. Gray hair and like they're fitter than me. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? Like, I think old is a mindset. Mm -hmm. Obviously, it is an age. And you, there's want. just a negative connotation around like the word old. However, like, we're older. Girl, I want to change it a little bit, right? Mm -hmm. Guys, I need to ask you a question. Can you do you make friends with other guys in the club? Huh? Yeah. <laughs> you make friends with guys in the club? How, you say, how, how do you create a friendship with a guy in the club? I don't know what you're saying. It's wet. Not just no, wet. Like, like, yeah, like, how do you, let's say for example, like, let me paint a scene. Yeah, you bought a section, and they got a section or whatever. Okay. And like, would you, you know guys what? make friends, or is it like a competition? Or what is do you it? You know what? Go right. on. I feel like. In a in a club, like if you're mad drunk, you, you probably would make make a I'm friend. Like, hey, bro, yeah. But that? not like that, not a friend friend. Like boys don't really make friends like that. Okay, yeah, I was gonna say I don't feel like because like girls make friends. That's how I am. Yeah, girls, 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 the way so girls do it is mad because you yeah. go to the toilet, yeah. taking pictures in the and toilet. And now you're bringing a girl. You, this is my friend. Best friend. Can she have a dress? No, I'm actually not one of those babes. I am. You become my babe from like dancing with you on the dance floor. Like I don't make like girlfriends in like the bathroom and stuff. I'm really trying to pee and leave. Yeah. Yeah, like I won't be in there taking photos or anything. You're, you're but, part of a small percentage. Though. Yeah, but if I'm on the floor and um, Darko, favorite girl, comes off and mm -hmm. you start shaking Yash on me, that's how we become hey, friends. I'm and open that's your to friend death. then after that. That's my friend. So yeah. you like go to motors and make friends? Yeah. That's no, crazy. No, but she's, she's my friend in the club. She's my friend when I leave. Also, when you leave, you like, huh? no contact. My I remember. I remember if I see you guys. Text. Like, what about you? Okay, what about you? Yeah. Reactive stories. There was this one time. Where were we? we went to like we were in Jamaica and we went on a hip hop boat party. You guys go on the hip hop boat parties when you go to them countries. And obviously we met these bunch of girls or whatever and they were so lovely. On our birthday, we met them in the club, they allowed us at their table, we we're drinking everything. I even brought some people from the resort they was drinking too. And then the second night they took us to a strip club, a Jamaican strip club. My that must have been lit. It was so lit. The girls were so nice and there was this one baby There's that just two kept on shaking by my love. I want her. to go to in this life and it would be a Jamaican and be a Nigerian. How, what do you what? mean? What? Atlanta? Atlanta? Club. No, Atlanta. Oh. Have you guys been to a strip club? Would be in the BBL <laughs> era? Nah, no. Right now? Oh. I don't believe it. <laughs> they don't even cut to a car no, and say no. No strip club. No strip club. Uh, hey. Shad, I don't think Jamaican ever. and Nigeria. I think yeah. it'd be late. I'm not looking I don't think at. we're in a BBL era anymore. You don't think we're in a BBL era? We've anymore? lost it. We aren't in a BBL era. No, no, no. I oh, think. Are we not in a BBL era in Ireland or are we just not in no, America? No, no, no. I think anywhere. natural bodies are coming back in yes, fashion. Sure, doesn't I don't mean think that. We were ever in a BBL era. We were. We Maybe there was like a Highland was never in a BBL era. era. Let me yeah. tell you, I know a couple of aunties were fake asses in this Damn. island yes, in who took a trip to Turkey. Damn. Yeah. And I mean, this would have been done maybe in like the last two years. What eras has Ireland been involved in? I think the the, like, the filler rock. era. We're in the filler era. I yeah, think a lot of people filler. are getting Botox. Filler. Yeah, yeah. 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 Filler. black girls yeah, are getting true. lip filler and stuff. Would you guys now. notice if a girl has filler on her lips? Um, have you kissed some, a girl with filler on her lips? Sorry, girls. I know you guys said you're nervous about my questions, but I actually need to ask. <laughs> really? I'm gonna let Reggie answer this one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I have. Yeah. <laughs> Does it feel different? I mean, a little bit, yeah. You can, yeah. You can tell. Okay. Actually, no, no, you can't. no, you can't. No, you can't. I'm gonna say it probably wasn't done. I'll right be honest, yeah. Should be smooth. Go no, on. yeah, no. Obviously, you're not supposed to like. You're not supposed to kiss anyone after they just got done. Anyways. Right. Do you know that kind of way. I didn't know that. You know? Mm. Yeah. That's yeah. Crazy. So, but if that. you do, then, then you can tell the difference. But then, whenever it like, it heals after a while, then it's like it's normal, you know. Mm. Mm, you know your knowledge. Yeah. Reggie. Interesting. Interesting. Anywho, I have a confession. That question is like, Go on. Easy. I have a conspiracy theory, not a confession. Go on with your conspiracy okay, theory. Okay, I've got conspiracies, okay? Guys, I love this girl. <laughs> I just love this babe. I just love you. I'm just in my own world. Go on. Um, so, since we were talking about music for so much and like the club and stuff and like concerts, I assume everybody's been to a concert here, yeah? Mm -hmm. 
Do people honestly look back at their recording of set plays? Look at your phone. See the way, you know the way when you're out, you're out, yeah, and everybody's like, yeah, mm -hmm. like flashlight on everything. Do you ever listen, do you ever look back on those uh, videos? Yeah. I look back on them and I'm usually screaming really <laughs> badly at them, so yeah. I can't listen back. Yeah. Like, do you actually? Mm -hmm. I had to delete, like, my David O set from, like, three years ago, the O2. Like, I, I have a, like, do you, like, do you, you sit there and be like, set. oh, that was such a good time, sound Man, off, I was on the front. Yeah. Really? I remember there's this video I have of Tory Lanez hanging from a ceiling in the button factory. Not the button factory. But that's because, Academy. you see, that's, he was hanging from the ceiling, so that was something yeah. cool. Mm -hmm. You know? No, no. But if it's like, see, like me, when I go to concerts, you can watch the concert from my phone. Like, mm -hmm. I'm literally recording everything. Yeah. And then I'm sat with about 10 gigabytes of wasted footage, mm -hmm. just mm -hmm. chilling in my phone. Do like, you ever watch it? Like, you don't, like, You're I don't right. get, because, like, you see now, I was watching a video the other day, yeah, and, like, somebody's, I think it was, like, a house dj or whatever but like everybody's literally like yeah and like everybody has their phones out but like are you actually watching that back enjoying, enjoying do you get some people who do though like no you like watch for, the concert you very tech now you'd this, actually watch it you wouldn't watch it from your phone there's this house uh thing on facebook it's like called tune drop mm. so it's like just for like for when music drops like mm. when the beat drops like so i get that but for every concert everybody always has their phone out yeah why so if i went to a gunna concert and i took i'm watching that shit back I love yeah. this nigga. Yeah, but that's because that's him. someone that you love. Yeah, but, but like, like, there's a lot of people who do that. I think people would watch it actually more so from YouTube rather than their people, phone. I, I wouldn't watch, watch it. I only watch back concerts I've been at or whatever. Mm. True, like, I don't have memories. Concerts, you know? mm. yeah. yeah. But yeah. you're not listening. You're like, you wouldn't watch you wouldn't the whole go back thing and be on like, your oh, phone. Man, like, yeah. yeah you wouldn't really it's like five that. minutes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so who's the best, like, what's the best concert you have been to? Oh, my God. I've been to The most memorable one, like, for a show. Or an artist, though. Chris Brown was pretty good. I went to go see him in Paris last year. He actually put on, it was real nostalgic. Yeah. And it was cause he did this thing where it was basically like he had like a year wheel. So it was like, you got oh, to nice. choose what year and you got to choose the song he sang. Yeah, fire. So that yeah. was pretty lit. Um, David Doe in the O2 London was also pretty sick cause he had mm. the composers. And mm. I went to the one where fire. he actually sang live. Fire. That was Whiskid sick. in the UK. Whiskid. Yeah. I mean, flops. That late Lagos. I um, made a Lagos album. Made it. Oh. That what day did you go? First day, where Chris Brown came out. Yeah, when I, I saw Chris Brown, day. I said, wait, what? Oh. And I was really close to the stage. I got to see like all the artists. I don't really remember them, but that's the concert I'd go back and He had bare yeah. artists that day. Yeah. All I, he brought out from me was gigs or someone like that. Shit. Talking to her. This is a good guy. I really enjoyed the Stormzy's concert. But I'm oh, a big Stormzy yeah. fan. I would You're like a big to go Stormzy to Stormzy. Fan. I would yeah. like to go to Stormzy. Um, yeah. yeah, but I did get to go to the EMAs. Like Ooh. when they were in Belfast, and that was that was actually sick. That's lit. I was like twelve, but it was sick. That's really really. Good. Yeah. That would be lit. That would yeah. be lit. What about you guys? What concert? Um, J Hoss. When when J Hoss mm. first came to Ireland. Okay, mm. I think I was there in the yeah. academy as well. Yeah, that, was that was a good, good one. Oh, that was a good was. one. That was my first time Proper going life. to see someone as well. Mm. Yeah. Mm. That was lit. Yeah. Yours, Reggie. Um, I saw. I know. What I've got say. two favorites. One's kind of weird, but I saw Fifty Cent in Amsterdam. Mm. That was lit. Because he's yeah, yeah he's like one of my lit. one of my goats so yeah and then but then the other one's I Lana Del Rey. <laughs> She's what? Like, you Lana, Lana Del Rey. Yeah, and I didn't feel like I was gonna like it. I went as a joke, yeah, but it was it was cold. It was really good. It was cold, yeah, because it's like it's a singer. Do you get me? She's, so yeah. like, She's good yeah. as well. It's like it's nice to hear like a nice like a good I'm voice. To see, I'm mm. like, what other singers have I gone to? I feel like I've been to a million concerts, but I can't, I can't remember, remember any, any of them. Right do you know what it is? Yeah. Every, like, at least once in your life, you need to go to a concert where it's like, mm. it's not hectic. It's like a calm, too. calm like. Yeah, I went mm. to Drake and we were actually at the very front. I had to move to the back because the way these yeah. people were trampling on my legs was not funny. <laughs> like, sure. I was actually, I was going to rock it. None of us are me. going to rock out. I was going to rock. Sorry, what I concert said rock was it? To rock out. It was at Tory Lane's concert <laughs> and I wore this <laughs> top that was just very risky. And the crowd was swaying because obviously Tory Lanez had jumped into the crowd and I was in the front. They, ah. they pushed me onto the floor. I almost oh, died. I so obviously my top, like, I won't lie, hey. one breast was out, one guy rescued. <laughs> Guys, I yeah, almost died. No, I was at the I Asha almost concert where those people died. That one was mad. Oh, yeah? Oh, that died. was the, yeah, two, it's three crazy. people were in, well, two passed away and wow. one was really injured. Like, wow, I was walking fine. by their bodies, like, when I was, well, trying to get no, out. Walking out. Like, that, that was the worst one. But like, oh, I should care. Every time I've gone to him, his concerts are flop, but not because of him. Because that one was because of the crowd. The one in Ireland was a bit mad. 
Yeah. Was that it was one like five minutes? I was like minutes. working, like yeah, we only was on stage for ten minutes. Oh my god. I was working behind, and I was actually like, everyone I was just waiting. Him. That ate, that MC was on for about three hours. Do you think that was probably like planning? Maybe they didn't plan for him to be on time because he was on time for the O2 London. But the problem was that because the first concert they had and people died, security was crazy at the O2 London. So it took a lot longer to get people in, and you know, black people don't show up on time for nothing. Yeah, but you're you're we, tall. You're sorry, we, babe, no, go. we were in the queue till 9 p.m. outside. See, that's wild. But you're talking about the O2 arena mm -hmm. compared to Tramline. So that's what I'm saying. Yeah, he, he <laughs> like the security is about four people or something. Yeah. He mm -hmm. probably didn't take Tramline as serious. Yeah, he was yeah. just like, he was probably just getting the bag, to be honest. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, when he was on stage, he was good, but mm -hmm. like, all that money for what? 10 minutes. It's crazy. Yeah, me. So you know what, guys? Let's tap into your music careers. Let's do it. Yeah. So, what year did you start rapping? Because it, it really came as a shock to me, uh -huh. and you came out with a banger as well. What year did I start rapping? I think I started rapping. Winning came out five years ago. Yeah, tw probably twenty seventeen. It was probably more than five years ago, no? Twenty seventeen. Really? It was the first year I was in college. What year was that? Was that the first year you were in college? First year I was in. I think he, I would have finished, so probably would have been just as you finished first year, because I, yeah. I would have been out of yeah. uni then. Because I remember just turning on my phone, I was like, "Huh?" <laughs> no one really, no one really expected it. I just kind of who told me who told me to do it. I can't remember who told me to. You were some, good though. I think it was um, Jay Ronick. Funny enough. Oh, yeah. Funny enough. <laughs> I don't even know how that happened, but. Um, 2017, 2018, something like that. And it wasn't mm -hmm. even Spotify at times. It was like uh, SoundCloud. Wow. Where we wow. Put out, and then we shot the video. A lot of the great started from SoundCloud. It's, yeah. it's, it's, it's on yeah. Spotify now if you want to have a look. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Go Check listen it there. It bangs. And Bye you, now. sir, Reggie. Bye now. What's the question? How did I start? Yeah, when did you start? Because you said you started after him. I think I started in like 2017. What did you say? You, you, were, say? you were roughly like maybe like... Just like a couple months after, after me. Yeah. me. The yeah. funny thing is, I remember listening to Max song with Jironic and being like, yo, this is cool. Like, mm. I could probably do this. Mm. But um, I actually went, I went, I started rapping in that loan. I went, I was, I was meant to be in college. Mm -hmm. I went there for college. I was on like a football scholarship. I was playing with the college and at Lone Town, yeah. Obviously, I wasn't going to college and stuff. I met Cubes. <laughs> I know Cubes. I met Cubes. <laughs> Shout out Cubes. I know that guy. I know I got my guy. boy Cubes, yeah. I met Cubes, yeah, and some of the boys, yeah, and he's like, oh, yo. So, uh, so basically, like, you would go motives and stuff, yeah. So I was, like, getting up to, like, some dumb shit, yeah. I was getting up to, like, some dumb shit, yeah. And the boys were, like, they were kind of, like, oh, yo, like, he's kind of cool, yeah. Come chill with us. So I started chilling with them. And then, uh, so Cuse was already doing mad shit. Like, he was already doing crazy stuff. At, like, stuff at a young him. age. Like, like, 17. Like, at 17. Like, I'm talking, like, I don't want to get too into it, but, like, you'd walk into a room and, like, bros chilling with, like, a stupid amount of money, like, do you know that kind oh, of way? Okay. So he's getting into, like, he's dealing with, like, some, like... Fifty deals. Yeah, like... Yeah, so I was like, business. I was like, this is crazy. So I was like, yeah, I'm going to start chilling with you lot. So I started chilling with them, and they, um, they were like, let's go studio. And then um, they were rapping. I was just kind of sitting there, and they were like, oh, maybe you should write a verse. And I wrote a verse, and they were like, that's kind of cold. And then that's how I kind of started rapping. So you just fell into music accidentally? Literally, accidentally. But like the things that were happening around that period were like were cool to rap about, you know what I mean? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it was like we were doing some cool shit, so we were like, let's rap about it. Do you know That's what I mean? cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you think people are boring nowadays, they don't have anything to rap about in Ireland. Mm -hmm. Bro, people say they do certain things that they don't do. Mm. A lot of people. Mm -hmm. He said you cap it. Like say the truth. And I'm not even trying to say like, oh, like we're doing crazy. Like, I'm just saying like <laughs> No, y'all doing crazy shit. I'm just saying like there's I no stuff. Y'all no, doing wait, crazy substance. shit. <laughs> Was what that Marbella? What do you think of it? No, it was, where was it? Marbella? I was seeing Yash. Barcelona. 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 It was in Barca, uh, yeah. I didn't know Barcelona could look like that. I thought Barcelona was a city. That looks, no, that was really. Barcelona is a, no, Barcelona's lit. It's a good place. I was seeing Bum. Yeah. Shaking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Can you guys freestyle? Can we freestyle? Yeah, we said at the start, GTG freestyle. I'm gonna let Reggie answer this question. <laughs> nah, I can't. Free, I can't freestyle. Okay. I'm gonna write it though. I can write. Mm. I can write though. Yeah. First. Okay, okay so, so next that. time, like we want. We're giving you a mission now. Yeah, a mission. Why don't you start a freestyle, freestyle platform? A freestyle we start platform. A freestyle platform. Yeah, fuck it. What's the freestyle? You've got like all the rappers on here, so 
That's it. Oh my god, that's so funny. Do you, do, you segment, follow buddy, right? do you follow BXB Basics back? So it's you yeah. behind that, yeah? Yeah, that's her. I'll fuck with them still, I'm Thank you. So yeah. you like so you share the outfits? Yeah. Okay, so just show love now. Keep showing love to us. <laughs> Come on for a freestyle. How do you pick your outfits though? How do you how do you be like how do you be like? Oh, you haven't posted how do you him yesterday. Do you no, know no, 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 no. I'm saying no, no. She does show love to like the like my outfits. She does. But I'm saying like how do you look and how do you pick your outfits like? That's a good yeah. question. Which one to like? Oh, uh, that's a cool. Yeah. 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 seat now, guys. Um, so basically, what we do is people that use the hashtag, people that tag us in their photos. Um, okay. Yeah, oh, so send it to us. Some people are tagging you. Tagging us, yeah. That's cheating. Mm. It's not. That means your outfit's not really no, that cold. They, no, it they want to be part of... Mm. They want to be part. They want to be seen, effect. you know what I mean? So The same way people tag the shade burn in the shade room. You. you should just post a cold outfit and then... Yeah, but you're an artist. Like, you have followers. What about someone who doesn't have followers? Like, okay, you know, Ireland fair. don't like people to do better and than And it's them. given it's opportunity for everyone, trying to put everyone on. Do you get me? Because yeah, if you're always that. getting, like, people that have high followings, then you're never gonna like give support to the underdog so mm, sure. if you want to mm. get on fit of the week with mm. bxb gives a little tag, tag you know me. definitely follow the page appreciate that um and yeah cool. just take really aesthetic looking pictures because it's yeah. not always just about the outfit it's about the background quality mm. not quantity Cold. yeah quality not quantity yeah yeah I'll follow them tonight still yeah i hear that I hear that right Thanks guys it. I was scrolling through TikTok and I saw some funny stuff. We did a little of these the last episode, right? <laughs> and it's called the My Life Did Not End Let's trend. Do it. Let's do it. So the first one I saw was me eating good food because life did not end when my boyfriend of two years finally proposed to me only for him to use my wedding ideas to marry someone he met in just three months. <laughs> Charge it. Why are you laughing? Charge it. I said, why Charge do men it. act like this? Charge it. Why do Let's talk about like it. Let's, Let's talk, talk about it. it. Let's talk about Let's it. Talk then. About it. So Let's what, talk he, about he, it. He robbed, like he took her marriage ide ideas yeah. and married someone else. Yeah. In three months. In three months. After being with him for two, I'm shouting. Two years. <laughs> yeah. After being with his son for two, two, three months. <sighs> that is crazy. That is crazy. The least he could have done is come up with his own ideas. See, when men, can I say something? No, I'm beefing you guys. Because when, see, see, see when men do something, it. Let's let's it. Let's charge it. Is when well. men do something, right? Yeah. You just like you're not even giving out to man. Why are you not giving out to him? What he did was wrong. We, we don't know the con. Like, oh, like oh, now oh. you don't know the context. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, yeah. Don't. You don't know the no, 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 no. Not, not this man. Not this man. But like, even in general, when yeah. guys do girls so bad, you know, all of you be like, my, oh, that's your girl. That's, yeah, that's your bitch. That's our sis. That's our sis. That's our sis. It's knee yeah, injury. It's knee and injury. Made him cheat. When he then does something bad, y'all ain't pulling him up on this nice babe that oh, he's you just. You know, I wasn't there at the time. I didn't see nothing. You do? No, they don't. Girls don't pull each other on that. On that oh, yeah, we no, do. That's cap. We do. Yeah, we no, do. That is cap. Yeah, that is cap. I don't know what, I don't know what, actually, I don't know what, I don't know what, I don't know what, I don't know what females are in the dark, but I take it back, I retract that. Um, <laughs> see? No, we do. Us, I us think us it depends on Yeah, I say us girl. girls, my, my circle, my circle, we hold each other accountable. We, we really do. Really, yeah. 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 I think that's cap. No, like me and one of my friends, we've actually told her, we had to pull her aside and we're like, you F up with this boy, we're beefing you. Oh, really? Because you like the boy? Because he's good to her. Like, mm. so if you F up... Not a lot of girls do that, it's though. It's on they you. Oh, like, boys do that, though. Like, we'll tell each other, like, yo, bro, I want to, like, just... Just what? Pattern up. Pattern up, yeah, yeah. Like, really? Like, she's a real one, like, pattern up. Yeah. We do that stuff. So maybe it's just men we've dealt with. Like, if, if, squad if, is if we don't... If we, nasty. If we see she's not a real one. Are they good so if, you're, if your boy's doing a madness, what are you doing? I want to check him, bro, and tell him, like, she's, like, she's a real one. If you lose her, bro... You, you, you're, you're just gonna no, be but when less. he's actually in the madness, when he's in the madness, mm -hmm. like what do we say to him? Yeah. So let's say right, hot seat, hot seat. Your your bro is cheating on me. Uh -huh. I call you up, Mac, and I'm like, Mac, I think he's cheating on me, and you know he's cheating on me right now. What so what? Uh, you're 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 his girl. <laughs> yeah. And you're ringing I love, me yeah. To I say love that niggas. He's, that he's yeah. On that you. I think he's cheating on me right now, and, and you know he is. Are you what you do? I'm gonna say. I'm gonna say. <laughs> let me let me call you back. <laughs> let me call you back. Let me call you back. Because let me call you back. <laughs> You're a menace, <laughs> menace to society. <laughs> he says he's gonna call his bro. I'm my like, bro. My question bro. was different. When he's actually in the madness, like quite like, literally like cheating. In. Yes. Yeah, that's, that's oh. my scenario. Like I, I feel oh. like my man is cheating on me right now, Mac. And Mac knows he's with the other babe. 
I'm like, what are you doing? I'm gonna punch him up. I'm gonna, I'm gonna rock out. Rock out. You gonna rock out? I'm gonna rock out. I fuck with Reggie. Yeah. Okay. You gonna Reggie, rock out? Love Reggie's that. Capping. Okay. Reggie is Reggie is capping. Why do you Turn think that I'm cap around? Because you're wearing a cap. Your boy Why do you think I'm capping? Actually, double down on okay, that cap. Is, uh, do you know what is it? Look. <laughs> yeah. Reggie's so funny. <laughs> Okay, let me, let me. Guys, you see, guys, can I tell you something? The amount of times this man has licked his lips on the pod to lubricate the lips. No, I do the lot. I do, no, I, I do the lot. That's why your lips are pink. That's hmm? why your lips are pink. I don't know why I do it. I just Heavily do it. hydrated. Okay, so, this, do you know what it is, yeah? I feel like we all know, yeah? The reason I'm... Okay, we all know, yeah? Girls cheat more than boys. Eh? Word, oh, word, okay. word, Let's word, start word. there. That's word. it, we're done. Let's start there. We're done. Start there. Do your homework. Over. Moving on. Run. Do your no, homework. That's Do your homework. That's the thing. I've never cheated in my life. Do your homework. Do your homework on girls cheating more than men. Definitely. Let's no, start no, 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 there. no. I think guys cheat more, but girls cheat better. Okay, so which is worse? <laughs> Facts. You lot are like... It, do, it doesn't matter. Both scenarios are both bad. Women? I feel like when, when a woman cheats, I think she cheats better in the sense that like it's more calculated, so it's planned out. Yeah. Do you hear me? Men yeah. are cheating for men fun. Are, men are sloppy. Men are yeah. very sloppy, and it, it just They're happens on the spur of the moment. They're just cheating. They're just cheating for, just the, cheating like, for the crack, crack, crack for fun. Like, so no, both scenarios fun. are better than the other. But I will agree that I think women cheat better. No, no, no. It probably hurts more because it's more calculated. We're not going to do that. So I'm just vexed. What I need you to agree on. I'm vexed. I'm so vexed. I need you to agree on women cheat more. I'm never no. agreeing that we agree. I'm better. So. Men they use so. better. Men cheat more. Yo, Mac. Men cheat more. Mac, more. They use cheat. better. They use women cheat better to like hide the fact that they cheat more. Reggie, like, no, let's, no. Agree, Reggie, let's agree on women cheat. I'm actually going to put you in the hot seat Reggie, in a second. Can I say something? Can I say something? Some? This is going to be cut. Roz, can you please <laughs> say the next thing? <laughs> We're you telling you women don't. Okay. This is going to be cut. Wait, Reggie. Reggie, I have a question. How many of your boys have cheated on their missus? None of them. That's cap. See, this is why this is why you make your way with Mac is not even looking at the camera. Do you see what I'm saying? My, my, my boys, my boys, none of them. Ready? <laughs> <laughs> see, look at me. Check my eyes. What are you talking about? <laughs> my boys, my boys. Come on, man. No. Yo, man, I'm up. Serious guys, bro. Patterned like. Mm. This is why men. Get away with lying. No, because let me tell you why. Because let me because let me tell you why. There's a there's a certain type of man, yeah. There's type there's calibers of men. I I say there's a caliber of man, yeah. Mm-hmm. Like. He's planning why his is, words properly. Why is Demi laughing at me? This is what I'm saying, yeah. Reggie's planning his words properly. There's, there's, there's yeah, calibers yeah. of men, yeah. Mm-hmm. It's like yo. Some men are spending. A bag under a girl, do you get me? Mm. Why are you gonna? Why are you finna, like? Why are you, why are you gonna play around with that? Like you're you're spending a bag in that. But then there's there's, there's there's like broke boys that are cheating. It's like, bro. Rich rich ones cheat too. The ones all, who have no, money all, cheat too. All, all jokes aside. All jokes when aside. When you're younger, you, you like you've men have like you've cheated. You've cheated and stuff. But when you hit a certain age, you realize that your girl is actually more loyal and or you, as loyal. And you than blow your a bag boys. in that, and then you blow a bag and in that. You actually one. invest a lot of time yeah. into that person. Yeah. You come to your senses and you realize like cheating okay. is, is in the way. But I feel like when when you're younger, yeah, you you have made no, mistakes. I, can, I consider sense. I consider like a girl texting a, a, another guy as cheating. Mm. I feel like everybody. A guy that's majority sorry, people wait. have done that. Wait, wait, I what? If I, if, I, if, I, if I have a girlfriend, yeah, and she's texting another guy in a in a, a flirtatious in a, way. In a flirt- oh, that's definitely way. cheating. That's cheating. That's though. cheating. Sorry, that's how you meant. Like, she's texting like, another guy because that's intention. She's cheating. So like, I feel like. You'd say like men cheat more because like men will probably like lips a girl quicker than than the than the, the text. But women, girls, girls, okay, women physical. would text women a man cheat like, more. Okay, sorry, I'm let's, you, let's define it. Then. I think out cheating, physical is cheating. cheating, physical People cheating. People cheating. 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 There's no such thing as physical. Physical cheating, men or women. Physical cheating. Gonna, gonna women. <laughs> physical cheating. <laughs> yeah. Who's which? Who doesn't? Who doesn't, who doesn't more? Men or women? Men. Men. Women. Reggie. Women physically cheat more. Than men, I'm standing on business. Guys, today. all you're gonna hear is beep, beep, <laughs> nah, beep. I'm standing on business beep. today. Reggie, Every, all of you, okay. you three are probably cheated. No, no never. On, never. I swear on anything. I'm standing on business never. today. Man, them. Have, Reggie, my ex thought I did, and then I got to give him receipts that I didn't, and I, I got to be like, my phone. Okay, yeah, when they give the phone. The sneaky, you get me? Girls are sneaky. Like when they've no, given the he phone, was that means he was everything's sneaky. set up as part of the play. No, 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 no. It was on the spot because I called him and then he tried to kind of react it on me and I went, here's my phone. Okay. Take it. Yeah. Take my phone whenever. So you like, I'm not going to agree that women cheat more than men. Okay, Reggie, have you ever made mistakes? No, never. Have you never? 
I don't make mistakes. You know what lies though? <laughs> it's good. This is, this is, this is, no, really. You stick out your tongue. You're going to be younger. You're going to be younger. Do you know what lies though? I feel like everyone has cheated in the... In I've never cheated. I have never, never ever cheated. In a slight sense. If, like I, if I had nope. cheated, I'd actually openly say I've cheated before. I've never cheated. I've heard someone. Okay, so you, you, you've heard someone. I've heard someone were before, you, but you, I wasn't in a relationship with them. So, but yeah, like if I was in a, start, if I was in a, if I was in a relationship with someone and I had cheated yeah. on them, I'd openly say yeah. and I talk about the experience. So it's just me taking accountability. Yeah, However, like cheated. some man will come here, in the one have cheated and say they have not cheated before. Yeah. But you know, it's calm. I'm not judging you because judges go to hell as well. Yeah. So Reggie again. Have you ever cheated? What I'm trying to say is, yeah. <laughs> Ross, this do, Ross, do this women, the next I'm going to a girls, just the next thing. red cop. Do you girls cheat more than men? No. no. Who does it? No. 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 Guys, apologies for People the people comments. Over here. Comment for Reggie to let him know who you think cheats more. Thank you. Yeah. They're gonna clip this. Yeah. I, you, promise, I promise. I promise. I'm gonna be real. You're gonna stand you, my I business. You can hold me accountable. I will not clip it. How many girls have you seen cheat on the on the man? Not cheat on their mind. Actually, yeah, question. Yeah. See, the, see, the I'm not gonna lie. I know, I know, female as, cheaters. As I know women that cheat. Look how she's lying right now. I'm not lying. Why would I? No, yeah, none of seen, my have friends. Have you seen any of your friends? No, friends? No, 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 I have. Okay, I have have them. you seen someone that's not your friend? And you're yeah, like, oh my obviously, yeah, I've seen that. Oh but like, my god! Any of your friends? None of my friends have cheated. Okay, when well, you see cheated. someone, it's like, oh, she's a boyfriend. Can you focus on Ross? Don't look at look at Ross, Ross, said Ross no. being real. Yeah, but well, I'm, Ross, I'm, Ross has agreed with it. <laughs> what? She's agreed with it. Now, have you seen any of your friends yet? Yeah? Or oh, none of your friends be like, oh, she is. None she's of my got friends. None of my friends have cheated. Okay, what about the ones where it's like, okay, I know her. She's got a boyfriend. No, I don't know. I've never seen that. to be honest. you've never seen that. I've actually never seen that to be frank. Where did liars go? <laughs> You're funny. Ooh. And I'm being so <laughs> oh I've never seen anyone. Listen, I'm on no, no, can I tell you something? I'm not even right. Hey, I'm Reggie, on Reggie, when you were younger. Reggie. So your whole your no, whole no, friendship no. group from when you were younger. No, no, to no. Now. I'm letting you know now. You're not letting never. me land and tell my truth. Ooh, she on yeah. business. So basically, what well, I've heard I've heard things where like guys have come to me like, oh, she had a man. And I'd be like, oh shit, really? But it was already deaded before yeah. I could even. But then again, you do have to be careful to like putting yourself in situations because you know situations where you know someone is cheating and you tell the person, your per this person is cheating, and like they're like, oh okay, cool. Next thing, you're blocked. Both of them are blocked. I'm gonna be honest. I'm yeah, never told. I don't surround myself with I've never told. Like I've seen the cheating, mm -hmm. and I'm mind my business. Right. I've never told. Right. But if it's my friend, mm. I'd be like, you know, your your babes is a good person. You mm. know, like you're, you're moving. Techie here, you're right. moving out of mad risk. You're still my girl, mm -hmm. but I like your babes. But right. what what you guys said just there as well, like, like your partner is everything. Do you get me? Mm. Like they'll be better than any of your friends. So you're saying to me, I'm seeing when my friends do her man dirty. Why would I want to be friends with you? Yeah, I'm trying to get me. I'm trying to yeah. wear gelly. She's sneaky. I would like me. I don't know, yeah. Joe. Everybody makes mistakes and Everyone all that stuff. Mistakes, but like, yeah. I'll, I'll call you out on your on your bull, but I want to be friends with you. It's not a mistake. It's a choice. Like, cheating is a choice. Right. Like, right. it's never, like, because if it was a mistake, we'd all make mistakes. Do mm -hmm. you get me? But I choose not to cheat. I've chose never to cheat. Yeah. I still wouldn't dead the friendship, though. I'm going to tell you the truth, but I wouldn't dead the friendship. Maybe not dead it, but... Yeah. It's like... Like, you can give out to a person. Like, people... Mm -hmm. people you can check yeah, your yeah check your friend. Mm -hmm. Maybe because we're not, not my day ones. I've mm -hmm. never done it. So I've never been in that situation. Yeah. No, my, so, my, God. my day ones, some of them have. No, I'm not the day one, though. No. Not, I'm not the day one. It's nobody in here. Yeah. Okay, next one. I thought this one was really funny. Let me apologize to Reggie. I got heated there. I don't need to apologize. <laughs> I'm standing on you business. You're standing on business. business. Like, you know, I'm, Reggie's going to be rocking I'm out. going through I'm it right now. Business. Enjoying myself because life didn't end when my ex-girlfriend cheated on me with a guy, got pregnant, and tried to convince me the baby was mine. Shit. I'm a female. Wait, what? Oh, I saw that one. <laughs> oh. What? See what I mean? The there we go. There we go again. <laughs> it's the there same. It's the that same old so story. Funny. It's the same old story. Wait, what? what? So, so she's a lesbian she couple. A transgender woman. It's not no, just a lesbian, lesbian couple. couple. And she so tried yeah. cheating on her girlfriend. So they're even cheating on themselves. They're even cheating on women. <laughs> they're even cheating on themselves. <laughs> they're even cheating on women. Reggie, honestly. Let's be for real. Cheating on this Come guy on. is too funny. Reggie, who hurt you? I've never, never been hurt. Ever. Who hurt you? Do you know what? I can say this. This guy. Has a black hole in here. I feel yeah. like it's emotional. I don't know what happened. You think, yeah? Yeah, you don't really? get me very emotional. Like really? Yeah. What about him or me? I feel like he's high. He's normal. I'm chill. Like he's Ooh. got emo like he's got em emotions in it. Yeah. Are you for real? Yeah. 
<laughs> you have no emotions. So what? Women, I mean, I'm even trying to gauge. Like, I just. Do you, well, think, you, know, do you think women are good I at like? I could be a gauging, bit pedigree because like women are good. At, women are good at gauging men, anyways. Like, like boys, boys can look at someone and be like. Oh, you're probably like this. You're probably like that. And honest, you can read people. Women can't read no one. I think. I think. I think we can. With life experience. Obviously, at the start, I used to be so blind and whatnot. But now, like, because I'm standing on business and taking life more seriously, mm-hmm. if you give me like in ten minutes, I can know the type of guy. In ten minutes, I can cat. have a gauge. Cat. No, 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 no. I've told you from life experience and taking shit seriously, mm-hmm. and like I don't want to be in heartbroken, crying, calling Russ. Hey, no. You know what I mean? I don't want to be. <laughs> <laughs> you so now, when a guy is trying to me, right? Mm-hmm. I just let him speak. And in 10 minutes, I can gauge who he is. And that will allow me to say, okay, I'm going to continue Cut. to see me. I trust no, him. I hear it, though. Cut. I hear it. You know, yeah, I hear it. Because you're beefing me. I was beefing you. It's no, no, time no, no, you can no, say no, cut. No, no, because you know what is there? Go on. What if, like, what if he's, like, a really wealthy guy? Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? What? When, when a girl meets a guy that's wealthy, yeah... Certain things fly over there. Can I tell you yeah, something? Do you get me? It's like, it's no. like oh, everything you've learned... The wealthy yeah, ones are like, even <laughs> easier to gauge. I'm not even going to lie. The wealthy ones are even re- like that's one yeah. thing I've learned about wealthy men and men with money is that there's like two of them, right? And then there's obviously more, but there's two. There's one that doesn't talk. He's calm. Yeah, for sure. You can either be afraid of that man or he's just a calm guy because he has money, he doesn't want to talk about it. Then there's the loud ones who chat about oh, their shit. They that are one insecure. So you talk to them for ten minutes, you already know the type of he's already mentioned ten designers, ten businesses he's invested in, that his friends have this. The the ca- I know his car type. Sure. Uh-huh. I'm not even good with cars. I know his car has um, it has mm-hmm. two, two X's at the end. Spec. Has to sell himself. That's yeah. that one that has yeah. to sell himself. Like that. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, so exactly. that's what I mean. You just kind of... The rich ones are even... It's so easy to tell who's who. It's the, it's the ones that like, you know... Not I'm not saying that the broke ones or whatever, but I'm just saying the ones that are just more low-key and that's... Like the, that that would be a bit more harder to tell. I need like 20 minutes. No, no. Just an extra yeah. 10 minutes. Yeah. 10 minutes. Let, let yeah, a man speak. Tell you actually Whether find it's out. 10 minutes, 20 minutes, an hour, two weeks. I've noticed certain things, but I yeah. still never trust you. I've gotten so much colder. The mm. older I've gotten, the more I'm colder relationship-wise. Why is that? You just learn. True trauma and shit, you just learn. Mm. So it's like you have to prove yourself to me. I'm not just going to assume I know colder, things. Colder towards men. Colder as in, yeah, like I feel like before when I was younger, I used to be a lot more like giving and be thinking, oh, this guy's so sweet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Straight away, mm. just Shock from you. gauging it between, exactly, Shock between you. like two hours, you think, oh, he seems like a nice guy. Two weeks, oh, he's a nice guy. Shock you. Shock you. Now, I'm a mm-hmm. lot more colder in mm-hmm. the sense that I'm like, okay, I have to see if you prove yourself for me to believe mm. you, you are all these things i mm. still give grace i'm not gonna lie give grace I am. I'm she's she's a proper lover girl though but don't mess me about right because she'll rock with it goodness. are you guys good at gauging women yeah what's yeah. like really? what are things you look out for in, in regards to, let's say you've met them at motive or in the supermarket what's things would you look out for things or would you just yeah i think you do look out for things like what things like would what? you look at like what um is, what would she can she say that would i feel like this girls? generation is full of like not full of but there's a large percentage of like materialistic girls. Right. Mm. So if a girl finds a way to get you to kind of please her materialistic side, mm-hmm. I, c- I can already tell what, what you're like. Mm. Mm. And that, that's just one, one side of it. But there's a few things I feel like guys gauge, like the materialistic thing. And mm-hmm. um, you can tell if she's family orientated. Mm. Um, what other things? What else, Reggie? What's the, what's the, I don't I didn't really understand the question. Like you know when you when when like you've met a girl, like what are you gauging? Like yeah. what are you what so are you no gauging? Good so one. are we being are we being honest? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So no, she's a good one. <laughs> no, we're lying. <like, laughs> I actually can't with you. So we're being honest. <laughs> I can't then. with you. Okay, yeah. Cause, cause oh, obviously God. you can get the honest answer. You can get the other one. No, no, no be honest. Be honest, Reggie. Okay, really. So maybe I want to hear the lies. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, women, we it love hearing lies. lies. Which, oh. one, which one? Do you, which one? Do you okay. Want to the no, tell the truth and then tell the lie after. Okay, so this is the truth. Yeah. Yeah. Because we're on a podcast. They're cool. If you move to a girl successfully, yeah, she's not the one. Really? The one is the one that says like, "Yo, he'll get yeah. away from me." Yeah, word, word, word. Because you want then, and then you chase that one, and then that, that one ends up being the real Do one. I know it's how you men. The, the, the real ones, the real ones are the ones that actually like tell you to like fuck off, like at the beginning. But if you move the girl successfully, I guess if he's, he's trying to say it's it like too someone easy, else probably moved to you successfully as yeah. well. 
So it was like, like you need to play hard to get. Thing. Yeah. Mm. Sure. You know what? I kind of hear it because it's like you don't want someone who's available to absolutely everybody. Yeah. Mm. For sure. Like if it was that easy for him to move to you, but it may be your pink lips, Reggie. That's nah. you know. <laughs> I don't. May I, have enticed her. No, nah, I don't get girls. Maybe you're just a nice guy you know, and you, you really said, liked you, it. You said this to me before, but I do cap. Genuinely. So it doesn't I don't get know. girls cap. I, like, I partially agree with your statement, but I also disagree as Why? well. I won't say it's full cap. I feel like when a woman knows what she wants, she's more particular in regards to, like, you know, letting a guy move to her or not. Like, let's say, for example, you've, you've moved to her, right? She saw you 10 minutes ago. Type shit. So, obviously, like, now you're moving to her and you're like, oh, it's quite easy. Now, she's already observed you and your character and how you've been moving. Fair. Do you get me? Whereas, like, there's some guys, whereas, like, she's observed how the, this guy has now... Seen, you've seen him chat to 10 girls. You've seen him, let's say he gets very excited when the girls are coming to the table with the body service because we're talking about <laughs> girls in the club right now, the club scene or whatever. And then she's like, no, then she's like, F off because I've already seen how you act. Do you get me? Yeah. So like, it's 50-50. I get your point, but I feel like there's a whole can different I, side to it. Can I just piggyback off that? Like, do you believe in love at first sight? Yeah. <laughs> it's a love so, yeah. Wait, what? Do, wait sure. so love at first sight? Maybe I'm wrong. But this then, guy believes in love at first sight. But do you believe in love at first sight? Um, let's go, man. Not entirely. <laughs> no, I don't think you've been in love. Then, I've, like, yeah, yeah no, okay. Well, I, I don't. I don't feel like you can see someone and be. In yeah, love. I don't believe in for love men love anyway. Sorry. Because like, if a girl is attractive, like, is that love? You're mm, just or men, love. men, men more yeah. just have lust no. straight away true, first, true, true. and then when when they get to know you, then it's like love. It can't just be. You see someone and love it's love. Because if, if you, you look see good, someone's energy, that's the thing. Like, if you look at someone, yeah, it's not about. It's like, yeah, looks have a part to play, but like that's what love at first sight is. It's not just about like the initial physical attraction. Like mm. you see someone and your whole world just goes. I don't think you know. I don't think it's mm -hmm. love at first sight because I personally feel like love is a doing word, and people like to mis misconstrued love. So I don't believe in love at first sight anymore. Really, I feel like it's like maybe extreme attraction at first sight this person has like captivated you and you've now like you know you're now intrigued by them it might not be full out lost mm. what are you guys saying yeah what are you whispering about business what risky business i was listening to what you were saying what did i say you said it's not about love at first sight and and what did you whisper to mac i don't know why am i involved <laughs> continue what you're saying like no, I've, I've been thrown off but yeah but that's my point. How do no, you feel it about is. it? I do believe in love at first sight. Mm. Do you believe in love at first sight? I, I want her to answer first. Me, I say no. No? Yeah. You I feel yeah. like, do you know why I believe in this? Because like some people have like an idea of what their partner is going to look like already in their head. So when they see it, then it's like, oh, that's the one. Do you know that kind of way? To the T, like mm. I'm talking like you had, you like you knew the color of the hair, all of that. And then it's like. And that's not love. That's like your. It's the start of it. But well, you've already it. like, but it's that's lost. not loving someone. That's lost because you've already pictured someone in your mind, and you're like, that's what I want. So then, when you mm. see it on the street, you're like, that, like, that's not, that's is not actually, lost, that is lost. Mm. But you're not talking about like all the way physical features. You're just talking about like, like you can't lost at someone's like eyes and stuff like that, or hair and stuff like that. You can't lost at that. You like you lost it like the like the it's body. not love though like if you're already picturing like like if you like someone because you're like oh my god i really wanted someone with brown hair and that's not that's not really loving someone no you i just mean want more, someone with brown hair obviously they a bit the obviously more specific in it but mm. you know, maybe yeah maybe you're right though maybe lust right. is like more on the strong sexual desire desire yeah. so i don't feel like sometimes you can look at someone but you don't feel a strong sexual desire you just feel like a maybe a desire to get to know them and see who yeah. they are crazy how long before? How long do you guys know before you can take girl serious? <laughs> Love this question. You don't, do you want the honest? Do you want the truth? Yeah, the truth. Like, like twelve months. Yeah. Twelve. Takes you a year. Like twelve like months. Year. I've heard that before though. There's, you I've guys have never. Before, it's it's not. It's six to twelve months. Yeah. That's cap. So you won't be in a relationship six to twelve months. No. Like if you, you I, guys are crazy. Never. I, I hear that. You don't though. know someone they after two months. Time. You don't know someone after six months. No, like you're to bring them around, bring in relationship, like bring them around your family. You, know? you don't know someone after you do that months. You, need, you do need to gauge, I guess. Your family. No, not six months, but like if you're saying like at least six, twelve months, six to twelve months mm -hmm. before you actually know that you like this person, you want to take them serious. Mm -hmm. You're taking liberties. 
Okay, do you know what? Yeah, I get it. Like, because you're like, oh months, no, I'm not the relationship. Oh, I need to see. After you six know months, you. you might know. Okay, this person actually fits the role, but then yes, the next, yeah. but then, but then the next, the next six months <laughs> is like, the next six months is like, do they deserve the title? Yeah, no, so, yeah. deserve. You're a toxic, a Reggie. Wait, I take it all back. No, wait, 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 no, you're wait, wait, toxic. No, 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 no. We deserve cut, the role. We can cut, we can cut this out, yeah. But listen, listen, listen. What I'm saying, yeah. It's not getting cut. The first, okay. Let's say the first eight months is like, okay, can I get on with this person? It's what? like and you've been through like a lot of like Would situations you to engage like, it. Can I? Can I? And then the, la- the, la- the last like two months is like, okay, I'm gonna put I'm gonna put that label on it. Like, do you know what I mean? Um, during Does these, that make sense? During these mm-hmm. eight to twelve months of you like you dating this person, is she allowed to date other people? She has to be. Well, yeah, she has to be allowed. I'd say so. Yeah. Would you That's be dating cap. other people too? You two do not look like men that will allow your <laughs> missus to date anybody else but he's you. He's rocking with it. But can I ask a question, right? He's rocking. Listen, you can plead the fifth for that. I'm not even going to ask that because we all know the truth here, guys. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But We're are you moment. guys dating people? 100%. Within those six to 12 months, are you seeing other? Are you keeping your options open? Yeah, you probably would date. That's what I'm talking well, not about. Date, but like, see, not this, like, not date. Like, you... You would, so this, if someone flirts you, you probably flirt back. So this girl <laughs> and, uh, okay, is so, supposed to give you eight months, no exclusivity, no title. Have, and she's have supposed to, to think that you are being serious. You're not serious. Yes. Well, you know what? How, You're how, not serious. How long, how long would it take you? I don't think there's an actual timeline, do you get me? But it's when just you, when, whenever you know. Innit? Whenever you know. But you guys... You just want someone on the side, do your thing. I bet you it's all get into relationships. I'm telling winter you, time. this is what Reggie does, right? He meets the baby. Around winter time, time. He goes yeah. to the That's clock after, after summer. Oh, no. After summer. You after stay, summer. You start taking you names at January, <laughs> no. by <laughs> July, <laughs> August. What you're Reggie ready to does settle is right. down. No, what Reggie does now, he'll meet the babe. He'll go into the clock app on his phone and set a 365-day time. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> no, do you know what is it? You don't do it. You don't do it on purpose. It just mm-hmm. that's just kind of how it usually just. No, like, you don't happens. gaslight each other. Gaslight like, those women. I, f- I personally feel like if you guys are talking every day and being intentional for this, like I think if you guys yeah, if you guys are talking every day, and like seeing each other frequently, like maybe once a week, for like the first four months, mm-hmm. you th- I think you'd know. You do. However, know. it's when you're not talking to each other like frequently and like you've seen each other maybe if once lived, every yeah, two, or three weeks. Though. Then I understand the six months to die. I I can accept, but the 12, 12? I can't accept. Why Why can't you accept it? The the whole 365 days. Do you get me? Mm. Six to 12 months. So there's birthdays, there's Christmas, there's Valentine's Day, yeah? Is she supposed to say So within those 12 months, you're doing Valentine's Day together? I think girls are too like, that's what I'm saying. Like, so you're saying that Paris. you're doing relationship things. Go to Paris. Yeah, you go do to relationship Paris. things, innit? Like, no. what? Yeah, so then what that happens, difference? right? What's the difference? I like, spent my birthday with you. I spent Christmas with you. I spent Valentine's Day with you. Then 10 months in, you're not going to be like... Uh, I don't think we should do this. Oh, I am rocking. It was all lit. Okay, so I what? am rocking. Oh, so what? You think... I am rocking. You think, you think, you think it's possible, like, on the 11th month to be like, oh, no, I'm done with this. It doesn't work like that. You usually just... It happens. Once you've reached, like, that 11, 10... Like that twelve I mean, months. Like, I, I honestly feel like we're saying twelve months and stuff like that because I feel like we're big on loyalty. Like, if it, if yeah, man. But are you guys loyal? Yeah. But so you know, I still flirt with you said with a babe six to on the street. Months, you said you still might flirt. But if you're if you're deserving no, once, partner, once, once, we're did lo- that. once we're like official, I'm loyal. See, this is what I have. This is this is actually yeah, my but problem. Like, but that's what I'm saying. She can do she can do her thing. Yeah. But like, see, if if I'm out doing like while we're dating trying to figure out if we want to be official if i'm out doing something crazy and she's out doing like oh okay let's say i'm out doing something crazy she's gonna see my demeanor and be like he's not for me if i see her doing something crazy while we're dating it's be like she's not for me but if we <laughs> like keep tough, that sm- sense, well, Mike- of, sense of loyalty well while understanding that like look, people are going to flirt with each other if it's not official then think. all i know you is know I mean? if that makes reggie's sense. walking Mike- on the streets and he sees his babe Smiling and kicking in with some guy standing oh, outside a car. He's rocking. I rocking cannot. <laughs> He's rocking. Yeah, rock, no, I, I cannot. Out, you, I cannot. As long as, let's say, for example, okay. let's say this is, we're talking <laughs> about serious dating now. Yeah. You actually, you want to be in a relationship. You're in a life, you're in a time where you actually want to get into a relationship long term. Please, in the last three months of this 12 months, you guys should not be dating anybody else. In the last three months, yeah, I'm I'm actually like I'm actually here. I'm with Ree on this. I'm here in the room. I'm hitting the room because you're Yo, telling me toxic. that. Uh, no, I'm I'm toxic. no, I'm no, no, I'm no, like Ree, I got you, baby, on this one. It's us together on this. I'm gonna gaslit on my own part. No, I'm gonna 
<laughs> gaslight. <laughs> re in it, re in it. I'm gonna yeah. gaslight re right now. Yeah, she's toxic because do you wanna know why, yeah? You should just trust. You should just <laughs> trust. You should just trust the guy. Do you get me? Like if like, you, but like, can you earlier like, on, earlier on, they said they're a good judge of like men and character. Yeah, if you've judged them and you know like okay, yeah, he's Gara. Like this guy's proper. Yeah, so rock with him for the twelve months. Rock with him for the twelve months, and because you trust him so, at the end of it, you're gonna get the big bag. I'm gonna can I tell you the sad thing? I'm actually gonna start twitching in a second. Twitch. The sad Let's thing is it. like, <laughs> it is like one out of fifty guys that, that are good at. Let's say, for example, because I, I, you know, I've had guy friends tell me about the 12 months thing. And like the, one of them is in a serious relationship. However, he was intentional every month. It works. Do you get me? And also the woman was also intentional. Every, I'm not saying it works. Chill. I said one in every 50 man. Chill. That can actually like follow this that. through. Do you get me? Because okay. it gets a bit techy on month four. Okay. Do you get me? Because I understand dating, you know, you have to explore your options. You have to see if this person is like really for you. So I understand the time. And like, let's say there's some traumas you have to drop. People are going through things. There's family things. Do you get me? There's you've had you've pre-planned things before you guys started dating. So I understand, but make sure like the 12 months you're mad intentional. You guys after 12 months you guys are together until marriage. Anything no. less than 12 months doesn't work. So you've done this. I, I date for marriage. The relationship don't for work. Marriage? Yeah. Okay. Straight. Nah, no, you guys. Yeah, yeah, Mac. Yeah. Give me Daryl, bro. I believe him. I don't believe you. You no. You. How, wait, how old we're are you? Same, we're the how same you? people. How old are you? If you don't mind me asking. I'm, tw I'm 24. You're 24. We're the how, same people. How old are you? 25. You guys. Nah. Are see, you guys are wait, my age mates. We date for marriage. No, we're, we're all not the same dating age. for marriage. No, yeah. Oh, we're dating no. for marriage. No, no. you're telling me that. Sorry, if we're any man made me decide, like, I think we're all Like, I'm on a roster. What about if you, if, if you're good enough for me? Do you get me? Like, you're seeing it from women's point of view of, like, oh, like, oh, do they deserve a title? I'm going to no, lock it down it, with them. It but are you, like, no actually time. the one for me? Yeah, no. No, do you ever, but do you think about that? The, the yeah, guys yeah, yeah, with the 12 months sure. saying, a lot of you guys don't. Yeah, because you're, like, I, you're I, always testing women. It go, no, it goes both yeah, ways. Yeah. Like, like that's, why, that's why I made the, the example that if we're dating for them whatever amount of months, and I'm, even though we're not official, I'm allowed to do all this and that. If I do something crazy then you have the you can think is, is this for you me have the well? no but i don't even uh -uh. think it's i don't even think it it's a crazy way, thing it goes away, but you go you say oh if i was to do all like my shenanigans mm -hmm. like it's up to you if you want to stay or not but at the end of the day if you respect me and you are looking for marriage yeah. why would you want to do that do to shenanigans your future in the first place no, I understand. no, I only made that point because you guys said no, I know. you guys said the reason why we're asking for the 12 months is so we can do, do all these things. But that's not necessarily true. Some people actually genuinely Real niggas. want want that loyalty. Reggie, I'm going Bro. to you next. Okay, because <laughs> <laughs> you. you. I'm ready. I, I thought this was going to be hard. This is easy. I thought this was going to be hard. This is easy. Easy. Before you were shy. So, so, okay, you so, you've shy. Done, so you date for marriage, yeah? Yeah. Okay, so you've done this test, 12 month test, yeah? I've done it and it works. So you... You got a babes right now? You got babes? I've got babes, yeah. <laughs> like you are in a relationship you are in a relationship yeah i've got babes right now you are now. in a relationship i'm, I'm in a relationship what right month now what are you on yeah month. it's been a while it's been a long time how long it's been a long while like a long time so like are we talking like 18 months 13 months see, <laughs> that, one, yeah. see, them, yeah. <laughs> see that one there yeah <laughs> I don't think you do what? have the babes because that's so I cheeky. I want to ask you questions. I got cheeky. <laughs> Look, you know, let's give them a give so them what, a table you, to ask questions. So you've got? Have you got babes? Yeah, I do. Yeah, boyfriend. Have you got babes? No. Have you got babes? Yeah. Okay, I'll start with you. How long? How many months did it take for it to be official? This boy asked me within like two, three weeks. Not that little. Okay, how long? How many? How long did it take you? He was serious, that guy. Six months, I'd say. Six months. And what about you? Let's say your ex. <laughs> how long, okay. he's, he's yeah. not good example. How long did it take him? How long did it take him? It took him it took him like two months. How long did your ex However, take you? How long did your ex take you? Probably about a month and a bit. Okay, so they're all under twelve months. Do you get? The ones that were longer than twelve months were hundred no, percent safe. I, you know I, I, mean? I, I date Bro, someone who did that whole four years. No but she's yeah, she's Off four years. two months. Wait, six he actually after six months. Oh, six six months, months, yeah. Okay, cool. So that's what I'm saying. So the six months is like, okay. No, but they, they I fit. They fit the, I the role. I dated someone who did that 12, 12 month whole real thing, right? And, the, and, the, and then the reason why it didn't work for me personally was that he kept on saying these things were like, 
I'm not if, ready for a relationship. Or, we just need to work on ourselves. Yeah. Like I just not need to work that. on myself. You, say you don't be have best. a title yet. Basically telling me that I didn't have a right Get away. to react certain ways. But like, see, I wasn't even tripping. Get away. You hear that? What? No. She's what? gaslighting. I think that's what she said. She's not, she's not, I'm trying to work on myself. Men like working themselves. It's real. Like it's actually. Real. Like, okay, but they you think we're saying it. Every like, it's time a joke. you're in a relationship, every time it gets to that relationship yo, question, you're like, I just need to work on myself. Soul. I need to focus on my. Working yourself. I gotta get that, my yeah. ducks in a row. Yeah, Sorry, yeah, Demi. Go yeah. ahead. I'm just on one. I'm on one. Can I tell you something? We're not saying that your tactic or whatever is like you know extremely wrong however guys use this tactic to string girls along exactly that's where we're going to go and I think exactly. women women don't be afraid to leave exactly don't so be going back to, to my point was that this you don't have person to stay for the 12 months it's not Netflix subscription would say to me you, didn't, you don't have a title yet so basically telling me I couldn't react in certain scenarios sometimes these scenarios were even hypothetical it could have been like me reading a podcast story and it'd be like so what would you do and I'd answer back and he'd be like but you don't have a title yet I had to sit down and start thinking to myself mm-hmm. Why am I sat here waiting for a title? Why does this boy think in his head that he has the title for me? Because women don't take accountability. For what? What did I take accountability? No, you are actually. Are you a good <laughs> girlfriend? Actually, I think I might rock on are this you, part for the first time. That was dating you, someone with the twelve month rule. Hundred percent. Are you a good? Are you a good you know partner what to that person? About you, Reggie. Hundred percent. Reggie, yeah. after like gauging you, what I've noticed you is that no, you I have gauged you, you know, very you heavily you. through this part, and what I've noticed is that when we ask you a question that requires a straight answer, you like, you kind of like, you don't answer it. You kind of add another topic that's like borderline of the topic. With, 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 but you're not fully answering the question and you try and change it and it's a lot of gaslighting so I'm a little bit scared of you and, and your babes <laughs> nah I no, just think I'm I scared for your babes no, what, I'm, what I'm trying to say is that, to you, babe. No, 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 what, what I'm trying to don't say is, be afraid to, I'm t- no but what I'm trying to say is what I'm trying to say is, uh, what I'm trying to say is <laughs> accountability girls don't take accountability they say like you oh he was t- a bad guy Oh, he strung me no, on. No, 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 oh, man, no. But like, don't get, get me partner. wrong. You know, I don't actually think he's a bad guy because we had some good moments and there were certain times where he was treating me well. For sure. But he wasn't treating me well to the point where I should have been. It was nearly like it was a job interview. Mm. It was like I had to completely sell myself and be proven yeah. to this Mind man. you, that, um, respectfully, like, this, babe, this guy wasn't going to stick around. He wasn't here. He, he had no intention he was of ever there sticking for fun. around. He was using that whole 12 month thing to just continuously string me along because why am I hearing in months eight, nine, Oh, yeah, you don't have a title. You don't have a title. It's as if you don't want me to have a title. Right, yeah. It's like you're not proud enough to be my man to give me that title. But Girls. I'm supposed to sit here and think you deserve the title from me to be my man? Am I tapped? I said, absolutely she, she not. After not that, I didn't, even, I didn't even argue. I said, Jigga. So, right. But girls, Go I must say, mm-hmm. in this era of sassy men, be safe. Be because extremely you safe. Sassy men. I'm not dealing right. with it. To lighten the load, yeah, we've got, I'm only going to read one story because we, we've actually been talking for nearly two hours. So, Rocking up. right. I'm going to read you the titles and I'm going to let y'all choose. I slept with my daughter's ex-boyfriend. He got me pregnant and I had an abortion <laughs> and then got back together. They got back together and Can't got married. Huh? Say that again. <laughs> Just move on to the next one. I slept catch with it. my daughter's oh, ex-boyfriend. He got me pregnant and I had an abortion. They got back together and got married. And the second one is... That's fucking wild. It's really wild, That's isn't really it? Wild. And this one is, I found out my dead best friend was in love with my wife. That's awkward. <laughs> I want the first one. Oh, sorry. Oh. Guess, pick. <laughs> <laughs> the awkward one or the wild one? Great. Which Which one? Even though you've been chaotic on this pod, I'd have you back. <laughs> I think you're hilarious, Reggie. And Mac, you could go to it. Yeah. Reggie's yeah, never coming back. Really He's him this out. duo, yeah. Yeah. Mac, do you know what is it? The next time I come on, yeah, I'm mm. telling straight lies. <laughs> <laughs> Next time I come on, I'm gonna come on here and I'm gonna tell straight so lies. Are, so guys, and they're gonna love it. Gonna, 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 and they're gonna Reggie. love it. So I'm and next one he's gonna give us lying, Reggie. Yeah. I'm like, <laughs> I like real Reggie. Then, I like I'm, gonna, I'm gonna, gonna tell like straight lies. I like real Reggie. <laughs> I think nah, real Reggie nah. makes me laugh. Because that's real. Girls don't like the truth in it, like so. <laughs> and I wouldn't like we don't. But <laughs> I'm gaslight. I like, I'm, I like your truth. Hmm? Like, like your I feel truth. like I feel like there's a prank happening right now, guys. Like I feel like I'm getting like pranks. It's like my daughter's all back like Black Mirror. You are a character, Reggie. You're so funny. I need an argument with you because it'll be like, but I saw you there yesterday. He's like, but I went to the shop. <laughs> and so on my w- way, no, no. I drove there, but Where you didn't really you? see me there. Where were you? Exactly. Where were you? 
That's not, I don't, why I, you follow me? Why don't you give me space? Why don't you give me privacy? Like, I thought this relationship was about trust. Oh, do you think I'm that guy? In fact, why do you have my number? At the beginning of this podcast, said, I said, do I, don't, I don't argue. He doesn't argue, it's true, he did. I don't argue. Uh, he just he said like, not argue, we're debating. I generally don't argue. What it is, is yeah, I tell the truth, yeah, and like, you, you just don't like it. And no, I respect it. I respect true. it. I respect it. I don't agree, but I respect it. It's so funny. You're actually it's mad funny. funny. For sure. So go on, Mac. Sure. Which, which story would you like? Which story would I like? Oh. The mad one or the awkward one? The mad one. The mad one. Right. Not the first one? Yeah. Damn. So this was back in, let me think, maybe 1997. Jeez. I was 38 and my daughter was 18 and she was dating Harry who was 24. I was an alcoholic and I dabbled in schnockda. <laughs> I was not a good person, let alone mother, but I've been 14 years sober now. Okay. I disapproved of my daughter dating Harry, but I never told her why. He would flirt with me constantly and the age difference also creeped me out a little, but he was also an alcoholic and a drug user just like oh, me. I was 24. <laughs> She broke up with him over his alcoholism. Soon after, she moved away, but not too far. But regardless, she didn't live with me anymore. Harry kept calling me and asking me if we, want, if, he, if we wanted to get drinks. I turned him down, but then one day he said he had a bunch of schnock down I couldn't resist. Damn. He came <laughs> over, we did a line, and we ended up knocking. <laughs> He not was a mom. very good-looking guy. Ooh, he mom. looked a lot like an older Justin Bieber. Oh. Any drug addict. <laughs> That's <laughs> fucking perverted. <laughs> That's <laughs> perverted. That is so, so many aspects. That's not the best. He was single. Not even, not he was even single. What? Not even. That's not even single. 1997. I hear it. I hear it. it. Oh. That's mad. That's crazy. That's, how, that's how girls think. Justin Bieber like, was like, <laughs> back at those times, Justin Bieber would have been like 13. Like an older Justin Bieber, that's no, crazy, baby. Yeah. Justin bro. Bieber would have been three years crazy. old. No, he would have been three. But crazy. I'm saying is, like when his the era came she, out, yeah, when yeah, she yeah. made reference oh, to that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. She's anyways, that way. Yeah, that's that's well, she could have she wrote this this year. You never know. Okay, sorry. Yeah, yeah. So anyways, I stopped seeing him after that. It was too weird. Fast forward two years, and my daughter contacts me and tells me that she got back with Harry Jeez. and that he's fully sober. I was mortified, honestly. He was going to tell oh. her that we slept together and she's going to hate me for life. Yeah. They came over one day and said hi. And when my daughter was gone, Harry told me that there's no reason to tell her about what happened. I agreed. It's been 16 years of marriage on their part. They have a kid together. Harry got cancer, then beat it. I got sober, but that's basically it. Now that mom is, she's that, not right. That's no, that man ooh, is a I even accidentally skipped the bit, bit where she was like... Um, any drug addict knows what it's like to have a drug addict buddy. Mm. And she says, I got pregnant. I knew it was by him. We never used protection. I never oh, told so him was more I was than pregnant. Once. Oh, and nah. I went and got the abortion and kept it a secret. That man's cancelled. Wait, what? Yeah, let me yeah. skip that bit. Because he was, he was raw dogging your daughter and you allowed him to raw dog you too. What do you mean? It doesn't mean about raw dogging. Why? No, Reed, the man's Why is the, even Reed, happy? Reed, yeah. Reed, you know the man's problem, right? No, that huh? like the, the man, the, man the man's problem. a problem. Yeah, the mother is a lunatic. The oh mil- my god, <laughs> the, mother. the mother, the mother as well. No, though. but then again, they were both on like they were both. Oh on, like, my god, substances. <laughs> I said they were both the on substances. I'm not even supposed to be talking this much, but you lot, you said the man is the problem. No, yeah. I said the man. I said the mom. I said the man is the problem. You said the man is the problem. Everyone, everyone, the but then again. Ma'am. Okay, ma'am. See, follows See up how she's with ducking the both, smoke. They were both on no, substances. No, she, she said no, she's like I called the mom. Well, I good. said ma'am. Yeah, that's good. She's a mom. I think the mom is the problem. Bro, babe. both the both the women let th- him let him like let him hit. Oh. The mom, the mom knows that's her son's ex boyfriend. Her daughter. Who, who that is her daughter. Yeah. The mom. Crazy. The mom. Because that's your daughter. Like you. That's your yeah, daughter. Mom, she no. She like that. Like literally, you brought her into this world. Like you have. Like your only job, job to protect her. in this planet yeah, is yeah, to protect yeah. her. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. you decide to do that to her. But that man, he's he's yeah, very man is, very, is, close. very close. He's very close. Yeah. They're nearly at like yeah. But that works. You're supposed to be a parent. Like you're actually supposed to know like your kids like you're supposed to do anything yeah, for yeah. your kids and even like to do that no matter what drug he was like, calling her up what the, the guy was yeah the guy was calling her 
knowing that the mom was going through this, calling her, calling her, calling her, calling her. They were both drug addicts. I think he was. Yeah, they were both. Oh no! But see, the problem is right. They were both drug addicts, but it goes to show that the mom loved the drug more than she loved her daughter. But because at no point did it ever click in her mind that yo, I shouldn't be talking to this person. Like it, like you should have a little bit of sense of remorse. Like she should have felt bad. She was doing it over and over. The fact that you were doing drugs with your ex, could your your ex ring your mom and be like, "Let's go out for food"? My mom could never. Do you know like? Deacon. (laughs) (laughs) She could. She's not. (laughs) <laughs> like, even, even my mom's like Deacon my mom would be ro- my mom she'd be never. rocking out right? my mom rocking out with my ex Deacon is very high up in church oh swear <laughs> <laughs> is she for real wow huh? yeah is she, she is she real? is dead ass bro. yeah she is dead wow. ass respect to her yeah shout out to her shout yeah, out to your mom Mumsy. Big yeah. Mumsy she, she watches mom. it yeah it's shout a big up Mumsy Demi yeah that good boy is auntie he might need a bit more prayer than him but you like are crazy. <laughs> He's worse. Okay, so who do you think is worse? Reggie, like, I'm actually gonna. I actually. Who do you think is worse? Who do you think is worse out of the two of them guys? Reggie. But Mike, no I feel like you lot have no, I'm, you I'm lot have no like, judge. You lot can't judge like. I need ten more minutes. No, I know exactly. I know exactly the types of people that you are, and I don't think you're bad people. Mm. We're but the I same. Think <laughs> we're uh-uh. quite, we're quite similar. Uh uh-uh. uh. No, we are all the way, but like we're yin and yang. Do you get me? Like. Yeah, Babe, so there's Yin and Yang, which is... <laughs> he was with me. Mark was there. Call you and Yo, yo, yo. Mark, Mark will pick up that phone. Yo, it Reggie. It? Yo, Reggie. Yeah, whatever yo, Reggie's Reggie saying. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mark, but like, big Devil. Mike, like, all my guys are good guys. Like, we're, like, big up my guys. Yeah. Good guys, bro. Wait, so are your guys from Dundalk? <laughs> are you saying there's good men in Dundalk? 100%. Yeah, like, there's, my like, ex good from men Dundalk. Dundalk. Well, you went to school in Dundalk. Bro, like, uh... Roz, your ex is... That don't matter! Except for him. <laughs> that don't matter. Him. Everyone else is good. Everyone else is good. Yeah. No, but okay. you guys. Just our guys. I've heard some crazy stuff about the guys up in Dundalk. Really? I'm going to say it after the camera. What have you heard? Wild and Yeah. What have you heard? It on camera. Yeah. So it's like camera. somebody Girls. from Dundalk was fucking his girl's best friend. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> they go, oh, please don't say her name. <laughs> it could have been me. Friend. Yeah. <laughs> You have anything yeah. to say about that? No, no you got anything to say about that? It's, her, it's the best no friend's fault. <laughs> <laughs> how how oh, dare how I dare you? Him. How dare you? How dare you? You should call them out. Call her out right now. That's what good men would do. We say, "Yo, bro, I was." No, I need she a hold on. The guy know they were best friends. Yeah. That couldn't have been done though. Nah, it wasn't dark. Dark. No, because once like I said the point. names, you'll know, but nah, I'm not going to say the names. The boys are real, like, you, good guys. What? No, you guys, in the wrong. Yeah. The guy. Right. No. no. The you son- guys, you both need to, like, just think about things, like, logically. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, think about it logically. You, with your gaslighting, yeah. needs to stop. <laughs> and I think, do you know what will help that? Therapy. Oh that will help. God. Why does everyone want me to go therapy? Because <laughs> it's That's, good for you. Do you know what? If I'm not the first person to say that, then maybe yeah. I'm not the problem. Nah, Do you know I mean, what? I'm not gonna lie. Do you lie. believe in therapy? I think yeah. it, his therapy sessions would be hilarious. <laughs> well, <laughs> like imagine if you're a therapist. <laughs> 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 They come in and sit on the couch and be like, yeah, yeah. But I've got questions for you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for sure. Cause. The Reg will sit down. How's your session? Hey, um, good, good, good. So the therapist is like, so like, so how's your week been? No, how's your week? Been? <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> how are you doing? <laughs> Let's you know, like, what I've would never done you it. do? I'm open to it. I've never done it before. Devil but I'm not. Try it. I think black men definitely need to try 100%. it. Boy. Black men. Black men, because I feel like no, 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 no. I'm not targeting black men per se, but I feel like black men are probably the least likely to. Do you think? And yeah. I feel like they go through a lot of drama, trauma growing up. Do you think? I feel like it's hard on black men in this world. I, so I don't think they I get think it is, the yeah. opportunity to process their emotions as yeah. much as I think everyone mm-hmm. else. Mm-hmm. No, shout out to black men. It ain't easy for you out here in this sure world. Yeah, shout out to us. Yeah. yeah. It's not easy. I love I love these niggas. We love them. You guys love black men. I love men. my men. Oh, yes. I, okay, so my five th- favorite things about black men. We're doing it. Cool. <laughs> Number one, you're black. Two, dress sense is so good. Three, some the of charisma them. is yeah, some, some. This is um very small circle. <laughs> but this is what I was there. Three, um, the charisma is amazing. I'm always laughing around black men, as you can see in today's part. Four, I said five things, right? Four, like the really good ones, 
like are very like the very intelligent ones are never afraid to share the knowledge they've experienced in life with you do you get me and then number five is they're so helpful like do you get me I, like i can always call and they'll be like you know this is how you should do this or whatnot or mm -hmm. do you need help let me know if you need those are my favorite five things about black men. Have you ever been with a with a white guy or a, yeah. or an Indian guy or like? No, no. Right. I'm, I imagine those men are great too. I I'm imagine. Open to actually dating I, I, them. Can, I can. I can. I feel like I can fully them. judge between. I think my favorite thing about like black men is, especially those of us who were raised from Africa. I think mm -hmm. we have a sense of family that other countries just don't get because we yeah. see what poverty is like. Mm. We know how hard our parents have worked to get mm -hmm. to place where I think also with. Our generation breaking generational curses is a mm -hmm. massive thing and i think a lot of black men are really on that as well yeah i also feel like when it comes to appreciating black women mm -hmm. if a black man appreciates you i don't think any other race mm -hmm. will appreciate you the same as a black that man is. i was appreciated today yeah. honestly okay Great vibes the reason why i love my man <laughs> go is on. we love her he's our bestie <laughs> um he holds it down uh we're gonna take over the world together um yeah, he's just a great person. Great, you know the vibes. Mm -hmm. Shout um, out to him. We yeah. love her, babes. Yeah, yeah. Shout he's real one, real one. Got love you. Yeah, yeah. Right yeah. You see, we love black men on this pod. Yeah, we not don't. all of them are rubbish. There's good yeah. ones there. Too. Apparently, we're, we were like bashing men. I don't oh, think we ever bashed think? men. We can obviously talk about our personal experiences mm -hmm. with guys who have done us dirty, but that's not bashing men. The shoe fit. That's why you wore it. But I am side eyeing two of you today. <laughs> why are you I'm not side eyeing you two. <laughs> Both I Both think you're cool, Reggie. Bro, what good guys? I'm telling you. <laughs> I think you I won't find bear. I think Reggie bear. says it so much, so he eventually. No, you it. won't find bear. I'm I telling think, you, like. I don't. I don't. I don't doubt that. I've seen Mac treat women like, bro. He's a gentleman like me. Gentleman yeah. like we're good. Like, you know what I mean? you oh know, my gosh. Even today when I was running late. Matt calls me and I was like, oh shit. I was like, you guys showed up on time. He was like, do you need a lift? Oh, see on, that see black that? man? That's what I'm talking about. Oh my guys. You see that black man? Oh my guys are gara. <laughs> I'm telling you. No, the guests have ever asked me if I needed a lift. If you want, he if didn't even know where I lived. He was like, come and get me. Bro, I'm telling you. Yeah. I think well, go on, oh, no, no, go, go. You sure? One good. more thing, because we have to wrap yeah, up soon. Because I obviously asked this on another pod. Um, but let's say, for example, you're a burglar. But you only steal things that inconvenience inconvenience the person's life. What are you stealing? Ooh, that's a good one. I think you said in the last one, doorknobs. <laughs> what did I you think I said? No, it's me who said doorknobs. Door 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 so all the doors, it's a door. You can't open the door. <laughs> yeah. what, are you what are you stealing? I'm trying to think. Light bulbs. One pair of every shoe. Yeah. <laughs> I think that would hurt, man. Guys, you know the sink, right? That thing that comes out, I'm taking it. Yeah, that's it. The thing that, like, produces the water. <laughs> the system. The system. The thing out. Oh, the faucet. The faucet. the faucet, yeah. Taking that shit out. Okay. Yeah. And the thing on there as well. Yeah, no, no, you can't get water. Reggie, what are you taking? Mark. I think I, I, huh? I take all the cutlery. Yes, cutlery. I said cutlery last time. Do you know what I also think is a good one? Uh, I take reflective surfaces. You can never see yourself. No mirror. No mirror. That's okay. <laughs> All right. That would actually piss me off. Yeah, yeah, would. Because that would, that would fumble. Then you don't have no windows. Yeah, no reflective surfaces. <laughs> you'd have no windows. You'd have no, no spoons, no forks, I'm nothing shiny. I'm taking out the sockets. Sockets. You ain't charging your phone. Send them here. You have to get out. Double bus. Double bus. Go on, Reggie. What are you taking? I don't. I genuinely don't know. The Wi-Fi. I genuinely don't know what am I gonna steal. Yeah, hypothetically, to inconvenience someone's life. To inconvenience the life, meaning to make the life annoying, mm -hmm. make the yeah. life worse. Like it could be like light bulbs, so no light. Like you know. I genuinely don't know. Genuinely, shoelaces or something. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. That <laughs> yeah that that's so bad. Be to tie your shoes. That's such a menace thing to do. I'm trying to think, to inconvenience a man, what would I take? Uh, His do rags. Oh, uh, <laughs> not all guys need do rags. Guys, where do rags go? Fair enough. His favorite do rag. <laughs> <laughs> the one that just fits your head right. What, what, what would what would what would what could be stolen from you that would make your life? Fit? That's a, I good said reflective surface. I don't even know if I want to say that. Nothing from you personally. Because I wake up tomorrow mirrors, yeah. 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 Really, yeah. you never be able to like even putting fits together. You know some things you might think bang until you see it in a mirror. Like you never know how good you look. A lot of girls. Yeah. You know, yeah. makeup, True. we can't Crazy. do that. And then reflective surfaces isn't just mirrors. Mm. Mm. Guys, it's TVs, it's anything you see yourself in. Mm. Mm. Windows, spoons, <laughs> so That's actually, prison. that's quite psychological. Yeah, that would, like, that would affect a lot. She <laughs> thought about this before. Like. I actually haven't, <laughs> I just really thought about, about it. Shit. <laughs> what, what would you, in, 
Um, don't take my bath scrubs. Yeah. Please don't take my bath scrubs. Please. Like, oh yeah, she likes a that. shower. Won't feel like a shower. Anymore. Yeah, like I need. She loves her bath scrubs. Yeah, she don't does. do that. Don't um, up. I don't know what she likes yeah. more: the smell of cotton, lawn, cotton spray, or what would inconvenience you? Fresh. I don't know because I lose everything, so <laughs> nothing really inconveniences me except the mirrors. Because yeah, like yeah. everything yeah. I have, I probably mirrors. lose. I find it like mm. I do like a rotation every three months. So yeah. Defective surfaces. You see. But what, yeah. did, what did you say? What did you say? Well, I'm not telling you. Oh, what did you say, Max? <laughs> what did Max what did you say? I don't trust him. She said probably the mirrors. What yeah, did you mirrors. Say? What did I say for yeah. myself? Yeah. Um, probably my my khakis. Khaki. Oh really? Oh yeah, no, yeah. not my khakis. Oh yeah, you not that one. Anywhere. You That's can hop on a bus. Yeah. We all used to do it on before we had cars. That's a good one. Yeah. Personally, I'm anti buses. Yeah. Mm. Or taxi. But, you know, Carlo, there was no buses. Wasn't it? Do you not remember there was no buses that stopped in like town? Do you not remember? Well, oh, it wasn't like town buses. Yeah, they stuff. finally got them last yeah. year. But yeah, no. Guys, it's been real. It's been real. Definitely have you back. Because I just want a full episode Please come back, Reggie. on relationships. Would Lama come back? I'm yeah. Come back. Let's be wrong. Reggie! Good conversation. Nah, I'm a homebody, man. I need to go back. <laughs> I need to go back inside. What? Reggie, you have to come back. So I'm a homebody. I need to get back inside. We'll give you, we'll give you a break. We'll we'll bring, this, 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 we're bringing the podcast a, to your house. It's a one, one time thing. <laughs> Set up in his house. Mm-hmm. No, sure. Reggie, don't say that. We're ghosting. You were so funny. Mark literally just said he'd be I back. Still, I still, yeah, I still, yeah, no, Mark no, yeah, needs we, to come we, back. We don't need you. We we'll just have to dive in on the fact that you were raised in South Africa. I'm joking, Reggie. Yeah, Reggie, I'm joking. We didn't actually get through all that stuff. Yeah, I really wanted us to bring that bring that up, but we'll do it the next time you're on. He was raised in South Africa. He's Nigerian. Ooh, that's lit. Oh, yeah? That's yeah, lit. I had a gazillion questions for Mac, but Reggie distracted me. <laughs> you uh, need to come back. Let's yeah. go. Please. Okay, let's Mac go. Mac and Cubes next time. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, um, do you guys any, have anything you want to promote or anything? Yes, yeah, um, Risky Business. Shout out Risky Business. Yeah, Follow new music coming soon. Business entertainment, new music coming soon. Um, so when you drop your new music, come back. Whoever's running the game right now, work on your fitness. <laughs> Why did he get up? But anyways, <laughs> um, thank you guys for listening. Please like, yeah, comment, share, subscribe. Listen, guys, we need to do the outro. Don't sorry, listen. Baby, sorry, baby. Sorry, um, baby. Um, um, we're, we're closing up, Reggie. We're closing up, Reggie. Reggie. Reggie, we're not done. So just can you keep it down? <laughs> Guys, please like, comment, share, subscribe. Um, thanks for the thanks. Shout out to the guests. Follow them on their socials and tune in next week for your weekly subscription.